We are live. It says we are live. It says so you're live. No picture. YouTube but, yeah. can't be wrong. So there you go. Hey, everybody, welcome and thank you for joining us. I'm Sam. JT. And we are here playing Tamashi Chronicle of the Ascend. This is a new game from Awaken Realms Light. Mm -hmm. Now, as denoted by JT earlier in the week when I <laughs> chuckled at the fact that it said it could go as long as three hours and that it's put out by Awaken Realms Light, I said that was funny. But he made the very astute observation that Awaken Realms Light doesn't necessarily mean that it's shorter. That's right. It just means that it has more palatable mechanisms, not, you know, not no. as much to understand and that kind of thing. So Agreed. there yep, you have that. There's plenty of these that these are all scenarios, but there's shorts, mediums, wow. and longs. That's a lot of and scenarios. This is only this is without the expansion stuff. So <laughs> that's just the core. And this box. is two like campaigns too. The Lost Pages. Well, the Lost Pages is a Kickstarter one, and then there's a couple of expansions that go with it. And then the Core Box campaign, if you want to call it that. So that's cool. Um, but there are more than that. Yep. As well. So this is a uh, this is JT's Kickstarter copy that has mm -hmm. come in. And so that's why we're doing it. We noticed that there were a good number of nice. unboxings that are already out there. So we were like, man, let's not do an unboxing. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it and yeah. do a playthrough. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to give you an idea of how Tamashi, Chronicle of the Ascent, plays. So with that being said, hit it. Sweet. So Tamashi, Chronicle of Ascend is um, cyberpunk, Japan. Um, and it is Cyberpunk Japan theme. Um, when you start the prologue, you don't know what's going on or, or whatever else. You're, we are already individuals that can upload our consciousness into the web um, and use that consciousness to travel to different places, to actually get into different bodies um, and use those bodies effectively, like take them over. Okay, That's how good we are. Now, Ascend is, this is, this is what I say is, um, Cyberpunk meets Terminator. Ascend <laughs> is the Telnet, or what's it called? Um, why did Terminator Skynet. Skynet? I'm sorry, I didn't mean Telnet. <laughs> Telnet's a that's an actual a phone thing. company. No, uh, <laughs> Ascend is the Skynet of this world. Ascend is trying to wipe out humanity. Okay. It is a AI with robotic minions um, that's trying to wipe out. Um, humanity. I'm telling you that AI is going to yep. end us all. It's going to end us all. So we're going to go straight into a quick teach, but we're really going to teach through the prologue and as everything comes along, and then hopefully we'll have enough time to go through the prologue and into a first mission. Um, people are chatting there. Gunnar Johansson is here. Johansson, Welcome. sorry. Uh, hello, hello. Matthew Vinson is also here. Hola. Hello, Matthew. So uh, we have a couple of people going, so we are ready to go. Seven concur concurrent viewers. Right on. Chat rate is one. I don't right. know what chat rate means. That's chat one rate minute. means one chat per hour. No, I don't have a clue. <laughs> All right. We should so, be at two then, because two people so are, are we hello. Looking, we're looking at us right here, right? Yes, we are. Okay. So if you want to look at our player boards and kind of on the board, we'll do a quick teach, and then we're just going to jump right in. Um, Your wish is my command. If you look at my player board here, and I, maybe you can't see it super well, I hope you can. Um, there's a few things on your board. First of all is the body that I am occupying currently. So the body I'm occupying currently is a walker. Same with you. That's a starting body. Um, each of those will have a special ability. Uh, and that will make more sense once we get into the... It's very scenario based. It's very story based. So, um, But I have a special ability, combat walker. When I lose health... I get to deal that amount of damage to the enemy that's attacking me. Or to, no, I get to deal that amount of damage. Okay? okay. There's also my damage capabilities during combat. So I can do one damage if I roll a certain thing on a dice, and I can do two damage if I roll this larger thing on a dice. Along with that, it'll show my movement speed. Now, movement speed is across the map in a number of tiles. Um, if you're moving into an unknown region, you have to stop there. You cannot continue movement. But if multiple of these were opened up and I wanted to move my full movement speed of two, I would move like this. I would not interact with whatever's in between. I would just land wherever I wanted within two, two spaces. Two spaces away. Yep. Okay. 
um, my attack dice capability, which means I get to roll one of these blue dice when I attack, which isn't much. Uh -huh. And my programming capability. So programming capability, we have, because we're really good, I mean, like I said, we can get our consciousness into the web. We have kind of that uh, um, hacker mentality, right? Yep. So this is our launcher. And in our bag, one of our phases, our first phase, which I'm just going to do a, a fake one right now, but in our first phase, we're going to fill our launcher with random chips from this, starting top left and working your way down. And it only goes in the light blue? And it only goes in the light blue, yeah, that's correct. Sooner or later, you can open these ones up, which will give you more light blues to place. Got it. Okay, so if I'm filling up, what my programming ability does, when it's time for me to program, I can move these. Now, I can either move in one of two ways. I can move orthogonally any chip that I want, okay? Or if there's two chips two chips that are orthogonally connected, I can switch them. Ooh. Those are the only two moves you can make. Okay. Got it. Um, then we're going to do a launch phase here in a little bit, which we're not even going to worry about until we get into the game. But, but this is our launcher. This is where we create our programs. The only programs we know currently are on this basic patterns card. Um, we have a basic pattern. If we can get three greens in a row, or three blues in a row, or three reds in a row, or three yellows in a row, we can increase one of our assets. We have four assets on our board. We have memory, we have shields, we have rerolls, and we have power. So if I were to get three reds in a row, and then launch it when it's time to launch, those three red chips would come off, and my power would go up by one. Got it. Okay. So. So we have four assets to use. This is our launcher board. This is your core data. So my core data is a red. So anytime one of these patterns, we'll have patterns on enemies, we'll have patterns on skills that we're learning, we'll have patterns on our special abilities. Um, when one of these patterns shows that star symbol, that means you have to use this color. Got it. Okay, yours is green, mine is red. Got it. Um, we start with three of each color chip in here, plus one extra of our core data. There's times where you can switch this by either flipping it over or switching it out with the other one. So you do have that ability. Maybe you're going more defensive minded or maybe you're, you know, more into the memory portion. Got it. Um, the other pattern you can do is you can put all four in a row, four different colors, and you can gain one experience point. Okay. So we'll talk about those a little bit later. Um, the only other thing on our board here is this trace track, which we'll talk about it when it comes up. Have, won't worry about it right now. This is how the enemy tracks us, basically, and attacks us. And our health. Now, our health is denoted by this little cube here. Starts at 5. That's our maximum health. As the game goes on, we will be able to raise our maximum health um, up higher. So, that's our character. This is the... Um, if any time during the game you have to take corruption, you'll take it off of here and it will go into your dump and then it will end up in your bag. Mm. When corruption comes out on your board, it's worthless. It does absolutely nothing. It just mucks up your board. Can you still move it around? You go off into your dump and keep going back in. Okay. There are ways to get rid of it. It just mucks up your board. Yep, understand. If this ever runs out of corruption, which in the prologue, there's 16 of them. So we, if we run out, we should burn the game. Um, and play something else, but so, very dungeon crawl, okay. um, dungeon crawl exploration. Like I said, it's scenario based and it's very story based. So, you can see that, like any one of these scenarios has different endings. So if you do this one, you might have one of three different endings, um, you know. And to do the last one, which is called the ascent in the main game, you have to have at least one box checked on every scenario. Now, these scenarios do not have to be played in order, so you can skip around. But you have to have at least one checked in every one to actually do the ascend, to do the final one. So Okay. So that, that answers your questions, Marev. L, uh, what type of game is this? Uh, McStabba says he's never heard of this game, but looking forward to watching it be played. And Kabuki Kid is here. He sh she is a bit distracted, but she is here. Welcome, so, welcome. Welcome, everyone, and we're going to continue. If we ever have to draw a corruption tile from there and there isn't any left we lose okay. um so we're not going to lose in the prologue that'd be pretty hard but 
Um, since there's 16. Challenge accepted. <laughs> if, like I said, <laughs> if we lose in the prologue, if we lose all the corruption in the prologue, I'm burning the game. We have to throw the throw the box away. Yeah. And all of the cool things. <laughs> the dice are for combat, which we'll go over when we get into the combat phases. What are the eight sides for? Um, for combat. The, the, okay, just different, yep. different styles. This okay. is the, these are the enemy dice, and these are your attack dice. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, but we'll go over that in just a little bit as we cruise through. Um, this really just teaches you and and adds on all of the different mechanisms. Okay. All right. So here's the prologue. <clears throat> if I can read. <laughs> Your memories are blurry. You're unsure what you were doing or who you are. But two feelings compete in your heart. One of pure horror and failure. And the other of pure accomplishment. Of a job well done. You don't like it. You don't like it at all. Hmm. Amnesia is a common start to many stories. Why did you start remembering things at the exact moment something interesting happens? Maybe your maybe your bored past self finally found a moment that they want to live in. <laughs> so we have amnesia. We really don't know what's going on yet. We do know that we've uploaded our conscious to the web, but we don't know how long we've been there. Um, it's an on sensation. Your consciousness is lost in the cloud, trying to find an anchor in a senseless void. You spend weeks suspended in the ether of the net, bodiless minds wandering in search of a vessel to inhabit. You keep trying and failing and trying again. Sometimes you give up just to begin the search with redoubled effect. Then finally, you find some abandoned husks to make your own. Oh. Look at these. These are our abandoned husks. Abandoned husks. Interesting. You establish a connection and stream your mind into the awaiting brain. When it's done, you take a moment to marvel at the pleasure at having a tangible form again. It's time to check on the world that forsook you. So that is our begin there. So now uh, every one of the scenarios has a scenario deck and it says go right to A01, the ancient note. After shaking off the dust and adjusting, your new sur adjusting to your new surroundings, you take a moment to stretch and revel in the sensation of touch and movement. As you walk around the apartment, you realize you're alone and the world outside is eerily silent. Neon lights illuminate the streets in shades of blue and magenta, advertising, un advertising unknown products, but there's no sign of life. With a growing sense of unease, you scour the apartment for clues and stumble upon an ancient handwritten note that leads you to a shelter. Although you're uncertain of what that means, you're desperate for answers and decide to follow the trail. Perhaps the shelter holds the key to unraveling the mysteries of this quiet and desolate world. Okay. We're going to set our time track at 6 minus the player count. So we're going to set our time track at 4. Okay. And then we're going to read scenario sheet instructions A01, which are just teaching you how to do certain things, which I'm not going to read to you. Because we already kind of talked about it. So in turn order, we have four things that happen in a turn. The first thing is the planning phase. In the planning phase, we do this simultaneously. The first thing we do is we um, trace. There's a trace roll. If we had trace here, we would roll, which we're not going to worry about just yet. So that's, that's to see if the enemies are catching us. That's based okay. on that track right there. Yep. And then we're going to refill our launcher. So in the planning phase, we're going to do a trace roll. We're going to refill our launcher, and then we're going to get to program. So first thing we do, Sam, is we get to fill our launcher from start to finish, top to bottom. With this bag with right this here? this bag, yep. Okay, here well, we go. One token at a time. So he's going to be doing it, and I'm going to switch back over. Okay, we're starting. We got our bodies now, and we're starting to get our minds straight. Giving it a good shake. How many do we pull out? All of the blues? Like I mean, I mean all every light blue you fill. Yep, every, top every to bottom. Light blue. Uh -huh. Left to right. Uh, oh, it has Cheater. to go left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. That's fine. I knew that. You're only supposed to pull one token at a time, not the. Well, I'm not. <laughs> See, that's the last fine. one that came out. That's it's the kind of right. back in the bag. 
Okay. Hey, GA, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. So the other part of the planning phase is we now get to program. Our Both of us have programming of four, which we, means we can move four chips. And right okay. now, the only thing we're trying to get is our basic patterns, really, to start to build up our strength and everything else. Now, I don't have... I could try to get all my reds together, but right now I think I'm just going to go for a couple of experience points if I can figure out how to make that happen. So I'm going to, I only have one green. So you can only get four? You get four you moves move total. Four moves. So I'm going to move that one, that one. And then this first round. What does experience points do? Experience points allows you to level up your character. So once we get to the second planning phase to next turn, yeah. I'll explain experience points. Well, you're going for experience. So. Yeah, go for experience if you can, or try to get three of a kind um, connected together. In fact, see, I'm going to pull my reds. They have to be in a line or a column, a row or a column? Yep, a row or a column. But they have to be in the pattern, the, in the pattern shown. Okay, so if I go... And if a pattern has a different configuration, it cannot be mirrored. Um, if we find one like that, we'll see it. But you can spin it any way you want. You just can't mirror it. Hmm. So I did my four moves. I don't think I can get four in a row. I don't think I can get all four in a row. So I think you just, can. I don't think I can. Oh, you got a good one. Look. If you take the blue oh, up, that's okay. one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm And the red down. You one, actually got a, a good one. So now you can move your two yellows. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's actually perfect. Okay. Okay. I got it. I'm savvy. So our planning phase, we're done with our planning phase. The next phase is our action phase. In our action phase, we get to move, we get to do a district effect, and we get to launch. We get to actually do this launch. So the first thing we can do is we get to move. Um, we didn't really pick who goes first, so I'll go first. We know we're in the damage district. We have found a note that tells us that we need to get to the shelter, and we have four turns to do it in. So I think I'm going to take a very direct route. I will go here. First thing you do when you enter a space that has one of these tokens, you flip it over. And that allows me to get one of these of any kind and stick it in my add it to your dump. Bag. Oh, so add it to your Everything so adds to goes, your dump first, then it'll then go it to your bag later. So I'm going to pick another red just because that's my special, and I don't know why. Okay. okay. Um, and then I get to flip this over. So the first thing I did was I get to move. Now, sooner or later when we start to move, you're going to see these trace numbers here. Right now, they're not going to affect us. But anytime you move into a spot, wherever you land, you have to take that much trace. So it would move my trace up two spots. Got it. If I stay here for a whole turn and I don't move, I have to take that much trace because I'm Ooh. not moving and the enemy is zero closing in. Yeah, they're zeroing in on me faster. That's cool. Okay. So I moved here. I don't have to worry about trace just yet. Um, my second thing is I can do a district effect. So that lets me prepare one. And what prepare means is I can pull an extra chip out of my bag. Why did you only move one when you can move two? Because anytime you hit an unexplored tile, you have to stop. Got it. Okay. Understood. Okay. So what prepare means is I get to pull one more chip out of my bag. And I can put it anywhere on my board. And I think I'm going to put it right. I'll put it right there. Okay, so I prepared one. Yep. The next thing I get to do is I get a launch. The only thing I have to launch is these four right here for one experience point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Those four are going to come off, mm -hmm. and I get one experience point. Bam! That's my action phase. So your action okay. phase, you get to move first. All right. So if I wanted to, I could move all the way here. You could because yep. I could move through here and then go here. Yep. Would and later on. If I move here, I get two trace whether I stay there or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do that just to flip over just to move it something forward. else. So okay. what does that do? That so gives you me get a shield. one shield. So your shield goes up one. That's right, baby. It's a cake. And then this turns over. Yep. Another damaged district. So yeah. I would get two. You would get two for any trace, right? but we're not mm -hmm. doing that right now. And you can program one. So, so I can move one thing. One over slide. Here. Yep. Um, so I'll maybe go something like this. Okay, perfect. And now you can launch. Now the cool thing is, 
when you launch, you're launching everything at once. So you can launch that, even though it's included with that. As long as you launch them together, right. you get both effects. Okay, so I'm going to be getting one reroll, which is this right here. Yep. I'm going to be getting one reroll, and I also get one experience point. Yep. Boom. And then yep. all of this comes off. How are we doing in chat? Uh, let's see. It says, uh, interesting premise for sure, after you explained the, uh, the kind of game that it mm -hmm. is. Uh, XP, go for XP, Kabuki Kid says, uh, can't wait for my all-in pledge, boxed meeples to arrive, uh, can't, boxed meeples says, can't wait for my all-in pledge to arrive in the UK, will you be painting the minis? No, I don't know, maybe, these ones would be cool to paint, yeah, these ones would be really cool to paint, <laughs> it's, I have so many minis that picking the game to paint is the hard thing, right, right, exactly, and, and then finding the time, all right, so you did your action, you moved, you did the district effect and you, you launched. launched. Okay, that's correct. Combat phase, we're Nothing. gonna we're gonna skip. Quest phase, so you're gonna go to quest phase. Your quest card has three possible items on it. The first one could be a player activity, which this one does not have. The second one would be a world activity. So what this quest card does is we had our our we searched the shack. You know, we found the note. We decided to go to the shelter. It told us how long, and then we flip it over. Our goal is to go to the shelter. Yep. Our special rule is we ignore trace. Okay, so our first world activity: if all the players are in the shelter, um, then we do something. Otherwise, we lower our track by one. So we're just okay. running out of time. Yep. Okay. Got so it. now we're back to planning phase. So the first thing we do in planning phase is we check our trace. We're not worried about it, and now we're going to refill our blue spots. Okay. So. If your bag runs out, you just throw everything from your dump in there and keep going. Okay, so left, right, top, bottom. And we are trying to go through the prologue at a good pace so that we can get into a meaty mission. Boom, 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 boom. I am out of tokens. Yeah, I'm about to be as well. Why do you have so many more tokens in there? I'm done. So now everything goes back in. Everything goes back in. Shuffle it and, and you then finish. draw yep. two more because that's how many blue spaces I have left. So this is always going to be morphing and you're always going to be trying to get different patterns. Um, it's pretty cool. And there's other things obviously we're going to be able to use the patterns for. So. All right. Yeah, I did see that longer asset patterns, if you can get five yeah. tokens instead of three, you then gain you get two, two of the appropriate correct. instead of whatever. Uh -huh. So if you get, instead of getting three reds or whatever else and getting one, if you could get five in a row, um, you could get two of that thing. Okay. So, All right, so now we are programming. We each have four programming sets. So we, we, we can each do programming at the same time. Yeah, so this is all simultaneous. Yeah, the polling and the programming. <laughs> all, right. all right, so I did one. All right, so I'm going to do one, two, two, three, three. Oh, maybe I should. Four, four. Oh, baby, I got a good one. I got okay. an okay one. Nice. So, it when I fire this one, when I launch this, is it going to take all four of them off, yep. or it, does it just use all three? Oh, it takes three. You're right. You're only firing okay. three of them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Alrighty. Okay, so we did our programming step. Yep, yep. Now is where we could upgrade. If you had any memory, so on the back, of, you can see on the back of your uh, turn order card. Yep. If you had any memory, you could spend it to discard a data. Discarding means taking one of your data tokens, could be a corruption, and throwing it back in a box. Mm -hmm. You can spend a memory to gain any of the basics, any of the colored ones. And mm -hmm. put them in your dump, or you can spend a memory to equip a chosen augment, but you have to spend. We don't have augments yet, so don't worry about that. The other thing you can do is you can spend two experience points to raise your max health, cool. to discard one of these purples, to gain a wild token, which can be anything. That's cool. Yep. Or to draw two augment cards, which we don't have yet. So okay. we're not ready to upgrade. Yeah. So on to our action phase. Um, and. Since we're just trying to get there, I'm going to go one, two. Mm -hmm. Now the action at the shelter says I can change my core data to something else. And I can inhabit one of my advanced bodies, which I don't have. 
So, so I do that, I do that, and then I get a launch. So for my launch this time, I'm going to launch three reds, three blues, and one for experience. Wow. I know, that was nice. You got, no oh my so goodness. I got a power, I got a memory, and I got an experience point, and I dumped Dean. a whole bunch in the dump. That was an amazing turn. That was nice, right? <laughs> my turn would not be as, as stellar. Yeah. All right, so I can only launch three greens, which will raise my shield by one. Nice. And that's that. And you would do that after you moved. Oh, that's and true. And took yeah. an action if you would like. But um, Well, let me put this back up here. I don't know it's that fine. it will it change doesn't, It anything. doesn't change it. I don't know that it will change anything, nope. but... We how many rounds do we have? We have four. But we we're good to just keep going. I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh look at him. I'm gonna come. You gotta make here. me sit over there for a round. I get what does that do? That gives me an extra reroll, right? Yep. Bing bong. And if I knew he was gonna screw around <laughs> Alright, let go over here. Oh sorry. And then yeah. this comes over here like ooh, I'm in the power blend. It says launch one basic as asset pattern and gain plus one asset of the same type. Oh, look at that. So okay. actually, so this is actually before your launch. Right. So you would take that back. Bink, bink. And this means that he gets to launch one of those and get double powered. So he actually so gets two shields from it. get two shields from it instead. So yeah. it does matter. Yeah, you, that did you matter. You should move first. Yep. Okay, right on. So we did our move. No combat. We go back to here. We're not both in the shelter. I'm sorry. We lose another thing. This guy But sucks. now we see what moving around could do. Well, now I'm leaving the shelter while he's going into the <laughs> shelter. We're screwed. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We're back to planning anyways. All right. So, so that stays there until yeah. I need him. All right. Let's see. Who knew he was going to try to explore? Hey, man. got to do the cool. Yeah, that's all right. That's a good one. I'm going to go use it, that's for sure, eventually. Maybe not this turn. And now I need more. I wonder what I'm going to draw. I've got three greens. <laughs> nice. Okay. And then we get four programming steps. So... I'll go one. Oh, mine aren't so good. I'll just go straight. One, two. Two. Three. Four. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. All right, I'm programmed. So one. You got a lot of tokens on there. I can't remember what I did. I think I was like this. So I did one. Did I? Did I do that? I can't remember. Well, I counted one. Okay, one. Like he's cheating on the prologue. <laughs> Two, three, four. That's what I'll do. I just got confused. Okay. That's what I'll do. All right. And then we can level up if we want. So I do have two experience points. So just for sake of funness. Oh, snap. I should have done that. I'm going to turn my two experience points in. And I'm going to gain one of these wilds into my dump. If I had one more, I could have went like this mm -hmm. and had one of your turns from last turn, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. So you just stayed there? Huh? Okay. okay. No, I haven't done it yet. We're not even, we're in, still in planning phase. Okay, Are you ahead. leveling up? You're not leveling up. I can't. Okay. I don't have yep. two. So movement wise. How did you have the two? Oh, because you just got I got some last time At the time end too. of your turn. No, last two, mm -hmm. the first two turns I got some. Yeah, uh, that's right. Okay. Okay. All right. So my movement, I'm going to stay there. Which I would have to collect all that stuff if I had a problem, or you know, if that was. Yeah, but I'm going to stay better. there. I'm going to do the district effect, which I'm not, and then I get to launch. And my only launch here is one experience point. Cool. All right. Now you get to move. And... I'll move here. Oh, thank goodness. I'll be a team player this turn. Thank goodness. And I'll do that, and I get to launch. So I get to launch a red and a blue, so I get a memory, and then I also get a power. And that launches all of these guys. He has no idea how much cool stuff is coming while he dinks around. This is true. I, uh, <laughs> it's I'm true. Totally, That's all good. 
on board with that. All right. So we're done with those two phases. We would go into the quest phase. And if all players are in the shelter... We are. We arrived at our destination. Each player gains one power, one shield... One power, one shield... And one token of your choice to put in your dump. And I think I am going to put... I'm going to put a shield in there, actually. Or a green. I'm already pretty high on shield. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with memory, I think. And then we're going to draw a card AO2. AO2. Answers. You have questions, we have answers. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Uh, let's see here. John's long box is here. Welcome. Epic Beard Gaming. Bam. That's what we should. Epic Beard Gaming. Yep. Box Meeple's already read that one. Paint those minis, Kabuki Kid said. Got to paint the, the minis in fluorescent neons, of oh, course. I'll ship them to you. Magenta for the win. <laughs> All right, AO2 Answers says, Inside the brightly lit building, you stumble upon a staircase to a dark basement. As you approach, you can hear the muffled din of voices. Your instincts about the note were right. The dimly lit space downstairs is full of life, and hopefully answers. As you enter, a hefty bartender gives you a long look. I don't know you. I hope that you don't bring trouble. She, oh, wait. I should have said she says. <laughs> that was a she? That, that was a rather... That, that was a wrong voice for the she. That's a hefty she. I'm not going to do a she voice. Uh, as she says, and offers you... She has a cult. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and offers you a glass of something murky. Drink it. It, bring, it brightens minds. You briefly tell the woman your story. She listens and only half interested. I've heard it border. many times, lost in the web, finding bodies, searching for answers, but most of the poor souls remember their past. You're better off. Others long for their past lives. Anyway, welcome. Try not to let Ascend's machines kill you. Oh yeah, Ascend is the evil AI that, tires, that tries to kill us all. <laughs> Have fun. Her voice halts when an explosion destroys the door. Someone shouts, Run! As two droids enter the room. Immediate effect. Set the time to zero. Each player draws and attaches one enemy. Read the scenario sheet instructions A to A. Okay. So we are drawing one enemy each. When we draw an enemy, they're going to go on this side of the board. So I drew a catcher. I also drew a catcher. Okay. So we're getting attacked by these crazy make me little a pitcher. These crazy little drones. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a strike on their cart. They have nine health. Let's see. Let me go ahead and do this. Yeah, there you go. You got yours too. This will be a good too. idea. Yep. This will be a good idea. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna slide a dice in Boom. front of you so don't get scared. All right. Here we go. On their card, they have nine health. They do two damage. If they roll the symbol shown, if they roll a symbol below, which is the bigger like spaceship looking symbol, then they have a special ability. The top enemy recovers one health, and then you take two damage. So specifically for these guys, they can heal up, and we would take damage. Next to that, you're going to have a hack icon, which means if you do those three things your star which for you is green if you did a green red green during your launcher you deal damage equal to half of the catcher's remaining health so that's something that we can now get on our launcher and the bottom launcher says if you do your core data yellow green um you would gain a corruption but you could get rid of the catcher hmm. so you could, it's basically running away yeah getting corruption okay now when you get multiple enemies I'm just stay right where you're and I'll just slide this underneath if you were to get multiple enemies the next one would slide underneath like that yeah the top ones the one you're always fighting doing damage to you can't do any damage to or do anything to the one down below yeah when they roll their combat dice at the beginning of the combat phase they're gonna roll one of each of these dice they're gonna roll a number dice and a symbol dice. Mm -hmm. You're going to place that number dice on whichever. So I actually rolled a one, so it's placed on this first guy. 
and then this is what he's going to do on his turn. Hmm. So when it's time for the enemy to attack, this guy's going to attack you. He's going to attack you for two damage. And then this is going to go to the next card. So if you roll the two, it's going to start on this guy. He's going to attack you. Oh, He's okay. going to do two damage. Wow. Then it's going to move to this guy. He's going to attack you. He's going to do two damage. Ouch. So that's kind of how their combat works. That's no bueno, bro. Give me my catcher back. You can have your catcher. I don't want him. All right. So there we go. Two, two catchers come flying through the... Two drones come flying through the door, and now we're stuck taking care of them. So our goal is to fight for our life. Um, we're still special rules. We're ignoring trace. Um, world activity. If each of us has no enemies attached, then we're going to do something. Otherwise, it's just going to go to the next round. So we do not get to proceed until we have no enemies left. So we're still here. You're still there. And we're yeah. still ignoring the trace. Yep. All right. We're still there. We're still ignoring the trace. We're going to the top of the turn. So we're starting with trace. Then we're refilling our launcher. So right now you're going to refill your launcher. Our goal is to defeat the two catchers. You can never fight the other people's enemies. So Sam can't help me with mine once his is dead. Now that I have draw all these. Sweet, look at that red. Blink and blink. Okay. So now, Crud nuggets. Now quickly I'm going to go over what the four assets do. The memory asset um, helps you get new abilities and helps you level up. That's what it's for. Okay. Um, based on level up. The shields, obviously, if you take damage, you can lower your shields instead. Mm. Um, but you can't split it. You can't, if you have, if he has four shields and he takes three damage... He has to lose four shields or three health. You have to lose three shields or three health. One okay. of the two. You can't pick. Unless shields runs out, then health would take the rest. Yeah. But you can't leave shields left over for no reason. Understood. Rerolls allows you to reroll one of your attack dice during the combat... And power lets you add extra attack dice for every power you spend to your combat. Mm -hmm. So um, we did our we did our refill. Now we're programming. We get four. I get we get four programs each. Mm -hmm. So we're back to programming again. And I really want to get. I'm gonna go one. One. Two. two. Three. I don't have another good one. Do four. Okay. Four. All right. Oh, I should be looking for that thing. One, two, 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 two. I have to go check on something real quick. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna undo those last I'm two. I'm done with my program. Okay. I need a red. I need red, red, green. So I'm going to, for my second program, move that one down one, and then I will switch these two, or for my third, sorry, and my fourth. Okay. So that's my programming. Oh, that ruins my experience point. Oh, I can't do them both. Oh, well. I'll stick with that. I'll stick with that. Okay. Oh, you can't, you couldn't do both? I couldn't do both. Oh, I couldn't do both. All right, what you doing? All right. I'm not leveling up. You're not leveling up. So for my movement, sorry. You do that. Fine. For my movement, I'd like to go there, but if I burn those three early, then I won't be able to combine it. I won't be able to combo with that one. So I'm actually going to go one, two. That's going to give me another power. Sweet. Oh, so we... We don't have to stay here while no, we're fighting. We don't have to stay there. Okay, cool. Ooh, look at there. Yeah. Server farm. Spend one. Spend one asset. asset to gain a different asset. So I could actually spend. Oh. To save myself some health, I'm going to spend one power to gain one shield. Mm -hmm. You can never go over, so anything above or beyond would yep. be wasted, obviously, or lost. Okay, so I moved there. I did that. Now I get to do my action. 
My action is going to be one red and a red, red, green, which is what I need to deal damage to this oh, guy. Oh, I so forgot to do that. I get one power. Fart nuggets. And I get to deal damage to him equal to half his damage rounded up. So I get to do five damage to him. May I change one thing? Of, of course you can. Because yeah, I moved yeah. this one here. I would have rather switched these two. Of course. So that I could have a green, red, green to do yep. the same thing. Yep, yep. That's cool. All right, so I did five damage to him. He still has four health left. So that is what it is. It's your turn. All right. Uh, just so that we can see what, what all this other stuff uh, is, I'm going to come over here and flip that over. That gives me another reroll. I'm the reroll master. And this is an abandoned shack. So I can program three. Yeah. Well, that's neato, Frito. <laughs> I don't have a blue though. I would have definitely tried to get a. Um, mm. um, but I think using I'll just that go. Yellow? Huh? Are you using that yellow for anything? No. Go. You can technically get oh, your yellows. Oh, I could. You don't want to well, run away. No, I don't want them. No, I don't want them to run away. I, yeah. I want to. And I no, want to I deal meant, damage. I meant them. you could get your yellows together for another reroll. One. You haven't done one yet. Oh, okay. So I, I just moved it one, back. two, and then three. Do that. Yeah. Whatever. I didn't mean to play for you. I'm sorry. Alpha. Alpha. Problem gaming. in oh. this game. Oh crap! Can't tell it. <laughs> this is, I don't think there's much of alpha. Well, there could be, I suppose. <laughs> but all right, and then you get to launch. And I get to launch. So I'm gonna get um, a got shields for days. Shields. And then I get one more asset here. Look at that. Down here. And then I also get to uh, deal damage equal to half the catcher's remaining rounded up. Mm -hmm. And they come with these little damage tokens. I know you can't see them, but that's a five. They come with fives and ones, big ones and little ones. So, get, oh. him, get out of my face, catcher. I gotta, so all of these I gotta come off. I got to clean off my board, too. I forgot to do that. All of these come off. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I got a boom, red. Boom. Yep. Like so. Okay. Right on. Now we go to combat phase. So combat phase, what you do in combat phase, I'll start with me. I'm going to roll, I'm going to take my number of attack dice, which is one. I can pay extra to get more. So I'm going to go ahead and try, I don't know. I'm probably going to pay two, which is probably a waste. And then I roll one of their symbol dice and one of their number dice. Mm -hmm. This is my combat roll. Okay, so on my turn first, oh, look at that. Zero enemies attack me back. So that's pretty good. There's only one zero. Will, There's only one zero. You most will of learn. Them, you will learn. You know, most of them are twos. If it involves rolling dice, JT okay. is going to do well. Okay, well, he's not going to attack me back, which is right. pretty cool. Yep, yep. So I got a blank, which means nothing. So on my turn, the way it works is I can do anything on my board that doesn't attack. Um, if it has a circle around it with an arrow, it means you can do it multiple times. So I could spend this one to do two, two damage, damage here, but I cannot do another one there to do two damage. So I do two damage to him. I almost wish he would attack me, but I did two damage to him there. Then he would get to attack, whichever one this dice was on. Yep. And then I would get to attack again for one more damage. That's cool. And then he would get to attack... And then, you know, however that ends up, whenever we're out of dice. Sweet. So that was my combat turn. He's done eight. I've done eight damage to him. So now it's my turn. Yep. So I'll spend two to get two dice. Okay. No, that's two extra, right? Two extra. So one, two. That gives me three. Yep. And plus the two for him. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, fart nuggets indeed. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, it says uh, McStab has said you got to paint the minis fluorescent neons, of course. And then Kabuki said, "Kid said, yeah." And then played under a black light. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm here late catching up. G uh, Brian from Gaming with ADHD is here. Excited to see how this plays. Uh, so good to see you. Here we go. There we go. And of course, okay. I don't have a two. So you have a two. So you just put it on the farthest left. Well, you so this you one. have. Yep. And then he does this, which is... On his turn, he's going to do that. So All right. 
You're so up first. Me, um, oh, you're kind of screwed. Yep, well, I not am. exactly. You do have rerolls. Oh, I thought about it. I didn't, I didn't have Ooh. any rerolls. You do have rerolls. So I can take both of these and reroll them for yep. using two. Yep. One, two. Uh, so I can reroll both of these. All right. Now, can I still use these? Yep, you can. Until I'm out? Mm-hmm. Because I'd like to try to get maybe... Yeah, this one's not going to do one. any good because you can't do it twice. There it is. And there it goes. There it is. So you get to right. attack first. So I'll attack first, doing two damage. Okay. And so that's two. And then he attacks me, and this is his special ability. The top enemy recovers one. Since he's the top enemy. So, and then he deals two damage to me. Yep. So I could take one, two yep. shields, and that's that. So he recovers one. Yep. And then this and then will go to the off. next one, yep. but it comes off because there's nothing else. So now it's your turn. And now I can just go one. Yep. And, and he does and one damage. Oops. If it has that, you can actually spend more than one dice at a time. At the same well. time? So, yep. Okay. So he'll just take two. He'll more. take two damage. So unfortunately, they're both at eight damage. Yep. Um, and the combat phase is over. I like that combat phase. It's really cool. I just want to say that. Real yeah, quick. it's really cool. So the other thing about this game is, which we are going to find out sooner or later, you are going to get beat, and you're going to... Losing your life doesn't kill you. It makes you go to a different body. It makes you take corruption and other things like that. So yeah. it's not the end of the world to lose because... So if you don't die in the Matrix, you don't die in real life. That's right. Okay. Sure. All right, so we're on to the quest phase. The quest phase says if all players have no enemies, otherwise nothing. So we're on to our next round. So we're back to planning. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm empty. I am not. Uh, and I am just going to yeah, I shape, sh shuffle goes. these up and just go left to right the way they come out. I agree with that. I so I'll do that, and then I got two more spaces. So this is, and I'm out. So okay. I need to come in. Boom, boom. And then while he's doing that, I can do my four programming. Yep. Go ahead. I remember you can still do his hack, although now his hack is going to actually deal damage equal to half rounded up. So I, if I did this, I could do one more damage to him and kill him before the combat phase. Hmm. So I may try to do that. That means I would have to, or, you know, first thing I'm going to do, here's one. There's one. I think I just need to do it so I don't have to worry about the combat phase. I shouldn't have to worry about the combat phase too much. Okay, so we're programming now, right? Yeah, we're programming. All right, so I'm going to do one. Oh, uh, well. Two. two. Three. One, two. It's not going to work out. Four. I'm going to do that. Three. Four. Mine are no good, but that's okay. Mine are okay. They're oh, not wait. What okay. did I do with my... Oh, no, because I want that. All right, that's fine. All right, so programmed. Now we can level up if you have more experience or if you want to spend memory. I can't, I can't get any green. All right, action. So we get a move. I'm going to be greedy and take the last spot. Mm, mm, get, mm, mm. get one power. And it is a high building. So I can prepare one and program one. So I get to pull one token wow, out. Wow, that's cool. Does it, it, it has any, to go there, though? Nope, it can go anywhere on your board when oh, you prepare. okay, cool. So that's cool. I can put her there. So many. Sweet. So I can prepare one, and you can go do it same thing, and then I can program one, um, which I don't think I have a program. Actually, I'll just get this blue off of there to make me some space. So, so I did that, did that, and then I get a launch. So I'm gonna launch my special, which means it's gonna deal half damage Blow to him, round it up. up. So he's dead. When an enemy dies, I get an experience point. Cool. And I also get a red and a yellow. So I get a reroll and a new power. So people can continue to look at it. Gotcha. I didn't see where it was yeah, at. Yeah, no, so. no worries. So and I burned up all of these tokens. Okay. Your You're turn. Done. All right. I'm going to go there as well. 
Boom. Because okay. I want to do the whole program. You get to prepare in one program. I'm on a green. I want a green. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good one. Mm. There's lots of greens Order in there, I want too. A yellow. You can put it anywhere you want. Oh, that's so. true. Yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it down here Excuse on the me. blue, on the dark blue. It won't help that much. All right, and I can prepare one. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this over here on the blue as well so I can be drawn more. Okay. And now you can launch. Launch. I just get a memory. And I think that's it. Okay. All right. So in the combat phase, I don't have anything to fight. So you got to go ahead and All right. So I'm going to roll on these two. And I don't have any else. So just one. Yep. All right. So he does basically the same thing. He heals one. Nope. You go first. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So... It hits him for one. Which kills him. Which kills him, yeah. So you destroy him. Away. And he doesn't attack back. Nope. Alright, cool. And you get one experience point. Yeah. So Okay. So combat phase is done. You've killed that little drone. Took yes. him took him forever to kill it, but he did kill it. Wow, so. listen to this guy. <laughs> Just kidding. Listen to this guy. So right on to our goal. Here we go. Fight for our lives. We did it. If all players have no enemies attached, each player takes a class augment deck. So now you get to pick what kind of character you want. Say what? Would you like a Reaper? Would you like a Whisperer? Would you like a Trickster? Or a Brawler? You can take the color that matches your thing if you want, or you can just take whatever you like. That sounds like you want to be a Reaper. No, it doesn't matter. You don't? I mean, no. no. Uh, pick whatever you like. If you want Reaper, do it. I think I want Reaper. Okay. I'm going to try Trickster. Okay. Just for fun. Actually, I'm going to try Whisperer. Why not? Okay. So we now have a class deck. And there's a starting starting co-op and starting solo. So, so imagine... you're going you're gonna to get rid of the solo PvP one. And, the and you're actually going to... Nope. The starting... The starting... Starting solo PvP is out. Starting co-op is going to go in your augments. You now have that ability. As well as the starting one. So you should have two abilities now. Okay. All right, so... My abilities, the rest are going to be shuffled. Augment, boom, and then... All of your augments are going to go down here. Down here like this? Yep. All right. Now, from every game here and forward... And these get shuffled? Yep, those get shuffled. And you can get more augments as we go through the game. Cool. I'm just going to put it on top of my solo one. It doesn't matter, but... So now, for every game going forward, you actually get to start the game and pick which class you want to be. That's awesome. And there are a couple of uh, expansion classes as well. So each one of these cards will tell you what phase you can use it in. My cloud network I can use in the planning phase. Um, a chosen player, which means I could even pick him, gets to program two. Uh, if I choose another player, then I get a program one. So if I let him program two extra, then I get a program one. Um, and my other one is during the launch phase. Once per launch, I can spend a memory um, and heal one of us. So, oh man, uh, my my two energy strings, uh, which is passive. Other players on your current and adjacent district trials have plus one attack. Uh, when a player who benefits from this defeats an enemy during combat phase, I get I can gain one power. Nice. Uh, and then in the combat phase, uh, if your top enemy has three or less health, health, you can defeat it. Nice. Just so with one of those symbols. Yep. So if I get that symbol, which is the same as doing two. Uh -huh. So right now that symbol for me does two or three damage. Yep. So if you would actually have, spend that dice. Right. In down that here instead of up yep. there. Yeah. Okay. So we now here's have... The, here, here's the question, though. Mm -hmm. Could I... You, like if I rolled two of those symbols, yep. I could use, use one, one up there and one down here. Ah, yeah, ha, that's ha. where you start to spin them. Yeah. Multiple awesome. locations. Okay, I'm cool. Okay. Right, so we now have classes, and we're going to start with a class uh, at the beginning of each one. So um, at the beginning of each game from this point on. Um, we are also going to draw two learning protocols. Protocol. Protocol. I don't know, that's not the right word. Every game you're going to get a different learning protocol. Um, I know it's upside down. I'm sorry. Murder me. We, we turn it that way so you can see it, and then. What is this? Okay. 
Learning protocol. Learning protocol. So you get to pick one of these, and these are now secondary objectives you can do to gain stuff. Um, ooh, that's not so bad. I might try this one just for fun. Okay. What learning protocol does is it has three steps on it. You complete these steps, you have to complete them in order. So to complete my first step, I have to launch a three green basic pattern. And when I do that, I get to put one of the tokens on it and I immediately get an extra shield. Okay, and the second step is I have to have four assets of the same type. So once one of these reaches four, then I can move this down and I will gain two experience points. And then your last step, step three, is I have to have at least seven health Oops. maximum. Mine's only five max, but once it's seven max, I can move it down here and it will give me an ongoing effect for the rest of the game. Which is when I launch with my core data, basic pattern, I gain an additional shield. So, Cool. Hmm. Alright, well let me choose those in just a few seconds. Come back here. Alright. So, let's see. So while he's choosing his learning protocol, um, we are going to learn, oh, then we're going to read the booklet to teach us how to play. Uh, this is a learning protocol, so I'm going to do this right here. And I just give the other one back to you? Yep. Alright. Alright. Then the last thing we're going to do, so this is the biggest step for us, we're going to pull out the body deck. The body deck is cool. <laughs> These are all the different characters you can jump in their bodies. You can jump in a knight, you can jump in a scout, you can jump in a coder or an assassin or a visionary or a slasher or a hacker. That's cool. So through all of this, all of these kind of stay the same, right? Huh? Through this stays the same. Yep, it's not going to move. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to the prologue and it says right here to read... AO2B, which just basically says, um, that just basically says learn some stuff, <laughs> which we already talked about. All right, run random. You think you can change bodies? Oh, draw a card AO3. Maybe I'm ahead of myself. Let me draw a card AO3. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. What it says is, we have to choose one of these. You think you can change bodies now, and, <laughs> and one's better suited for a fight would be nice. Oh, if we pick that, then we draw card AO3. Or, we don't know much about current the current technological state of the world. It's time to upload your database. Choose AO4. Which would you like to do? Upload our database or find a new body? I want a new meat sack. All right. Then we're going to AO3. He, I got too excited about it, see? <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> AO3. Fighting the drones has, been, has exhausted you, hindering your speed and agility. Fearful of being followed, you must re remain vigilant while navigating the deserted streets. You're puzzled by the presence of trivial advertisements, wondering why anyone would care about shampoo when deadly robots <laughs> roam free. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. I would like a clean beard when I die, thank you very much. The AI's intention to wipe out humanity and the cause of your mysterious slumber leaves you with a sense of unease. Every move triggers motion sensors and lights. Abandoned shops beckon with distracting whispers. To stay concealed, you must become skilled at manipulating your surroundings and ease any evidence of your presence. We're going to set the time tracker to three. Each player places one of these tokens on the zero space of our trace track. And we're going to read scenario sheet instructions A30. Okay. Instructions A30 says refer to the trace track. So what happens on the trace track, well, we'll talk about that when we get in the planning phase, but depending on how far up you are, you're going to roll that many dice as shown on your board. Yep. For every one of these... Hold on. Let me get there. Gotcha. Let me get there. Boom. Okay. 
Go ahead. So on your trace track, you can see that. Depending on how high this is, is depending on how many dice you're going to roll at the beginning of the phase. Yep. For every one of those you roll, you're going to get a new enemy attacking you. So, so you have to draw a new enemy you card. You have to draw a new enemy card and place it there. And Come just over there start and making a nasty here. line that's going to beat you up. Dang. Okay. Um... Component quality is really cool in this game, too, by the way. So now we're going to set up a body market, as it tells us here. These are just cardboard tokens, but these yeah. are really neat translucent plastic yep. cubes. So they look really cool. Set up the body market, reveal. Bags are pretty neat, too. All right. Kind of a polyester mix blend, but... They're All pretty, right. Where's pretty a good, good size where's too. a good place on the board to set up the body market? Right here? Probably right there, yeah. Okay. So if you see, we have three bodies available to us right now. And every time one of those is taken, a new one will come out of the market. Okay. The rogue and their special abilities, the master of puppets. That sounds pretty cool. And um the, and the I know scout. which one I'm going to take. I don't even care. You can have the master of puppets. So. Master! Why? No, that's mine. Oh. Well, see so, to get one of these bodies, you have to launch that code. Oh. When you launch that code, you get to take that body. And it has to be in that configuration. Mm -hmm. It has Got to be in that it. configuration. So, this is one of those examples where it can be spun any way you want, but it cannot be mirrored. Got it. So, it has to be in that. Okay. Okay? Yep, yep, yep. So, that's how we put a body on it, is we fire that code off understood so now another code we got those codes we've got our experience codes we got our all of our different yummy yummies <laughs> yummy yummies wait right. their attack is zero for the master of puppets you can attack dice. five i don't want the your master attack of is equal to the sum of your health oh wait the sum of the health from the of your top two so whatever the whatever the damage is, the sum of the damage they will do to you for the top two that's enemies, how much your attack that's is? how much your attack is. Oh my gosh. So up to Oh, the top two attached enemies. Yes, that's interesting. So two movement, three movement, three movement. They all have five programming. Um, there is more damage um, shown. Um, each time you deal any amount of damage to an enemy, you get to prepare one, which means put another chip on your board. Um, after you move and trace, you may reduce your trace by one, so the scout's That's good cool. and sneaky. All right, so here's our new goal. Find our new bodies. So we have to just get one of those. If all players have a body card, all yep, then we're going to go forward. Otherwise, we're going to reduce the time track. Their time track is at three. So we only have three rounds to find bodies. We have body. three rounds to find bodies. <laughs> that sounds super morbid, but okay. So if we get to zero, then it's not too hard on us. We just have to lose an asset every round. Until oh, we find okay, body. until it so, comes around. All right, all right. Okay. All right, so that's our new thing. we got to find these three bodies and jump on in. So now we're, we're preparing. Now we're preparing. So now we're tracing. So if we had trace, so we would roll it, but we don't. Well, does it count where we are? Nope. It's okay. only when we move in. I mean, okay. we start at zero. Right. If you ever hit the top of this track without it, it, immediately you draw two and bring your trace down. So. Okay. All right. So, ooh, I got my wild out. Okay, I have to draw one more. I wonder which one is going to be. I'm just going to put... Are they all put, the same color? Yes, they're all the same colors. <laughs> I'm just going to put it down. Mine's are all yellows and reds, so... All right, so what are you going to do there? Four. Four. Two move, three move, three move. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All we need to do is find a body. One, two, two. Blingy, blingy, blingy. I could take the scout pretty easy. Yeah, I could take the rogue pretty easy, actually. But I just got to make sure it's in the right. I could go one. Do you okay me programming for the Two. scout? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, one. 
to. I still have two more programs, um, and I am going to allow you to program. Wait, I could I two could extra. Do, I could do it like this. Yep. I just can't mirror. That's it. right. Right, I'm going to allow you to pro program two extra, so you'll get six programs, and I get five. Oh, I can do two extra? You can do six. Like right yep. now? Yep. Ooh. That's my planning phase special. So. Ooh, I can do six. Yes. All right, so I get five. I did two already. Try. I need that. That's my pattern for the scout. So two. maybe I'll go with a memory. Three, four. I guess I could go. Oh, I only have five. I get five. Hmm. I'll do that anyway, so it'll be closer next time. Okay, my programming's done. Oh man, this is this is blowing my mind right now. I'm having trouble. Hold on. So okay. when you have things that are close together, it takes one to switch them. Yep. But you can't switch from here to here. No, that's I would have correct. to go one, two. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't really help me. Because, all right, I'm kind of off. Let me see if this works. <laughs> I'm, Puzzle. Uh, he's yeah, I got. I got. I got to work at this. This is my. Uh, this is my problem here. So hold on. Um, you could also take that master puppets. You're probably not far off of that one either. You got lots of moves. Oh, I got a but, green. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, a green. You're good either way. So green, blue, red. I'm gonna spend my two experience points because I'm trying to get my health up. I'm gonna spend it to raise my health by one. All right, let me let me try this because this has fewer things. <laughs> so uh, let too me many see. choices. Mm. I do have to do these in order though, so. It would have been nice okay, to get I that green. Do that. Let's chat. Oh, yeah, I can definitely do this. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that. It. Yeah, Metallica, 80s albums, uh, later stuff as well. And <laughs> Kabuki goes, Master, Master. That's right. <laughs> so here we go. Um, we're going to go with that's going to stay right there. And then. I think I'm gonna go. Nice, <laughs> I swear. So wait a minute. I have to get. It'll be all right. Just this switch stays the... here. Yeah. So you're gonna have to switch the red and the yellow, and then just bring the red back this, up. If I do this to here, that's one. And then two. Three. So got to get the yellow all the way up. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, so I should have done this. Okay, one. that was one. Two. It's a pretty cool three, puzzle trying to optimize everything you can do here. Four. Five. Yep. Yeah, then I got one more, so I'll move. What are you trying to get here? Six. I'll launch a basic pattern. Gotcha. So that is that for there, I think. Because this is a basic pattern, right? Huh? This right here is a basic pattern. One of each for an experience point, correct? No. So, yeah, that is a basic pattern. But this says launch a basic pattern with your greens. So basically, you need to launch three greens to get that. Oh. Don't worry about it this round. Just. Well, I mean, I had it. I could have done it. Oh, I, I did this to do the... That's an experience point. To get an experience point. Mm -hmm. I could do it this, I, where I use this, is that, plus that. Yeah, you just got to get them together. Uh, okay, so I'm wondering, though, isn't this a basic pattern? It is. So uh, if I launch a basic pattern with my color. No, this is a core data basic pattern. Oh, okay, so gotcha, understood. Okay. That's your I'll, core I'll data. About it right it's now. all good. I'm worry about it right now. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I'm going to launch this. I didn't get mine either. I'm going to launch this. So I grab well, this You're guy. not going to launch it yet. Okay. You just did all your preparations. All right. Did all my preparations. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So now we're on to movement phase. Okay. All right. So where do I want to move? Oh, I need one more program. I need one more program in a low. That's a prepare. 
I'll go here. This one only has two. So I'm going to go here, one space. I can take I take two trace for being there. Yeah. Then I get one program, so I can kick that up to there. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to launch. So my launch is for the scout, green, blue, yellow, yellow. Okay. Plus a green shield, plus a blue. So I get a shield. I get a memory. Yeah. And I get a scout. And you get the scout. Okay. And all of these burn up. Cool. And then I launched a green pattern. So I get an extra shield. Now, you can get those all at the same time as long as they're going. So I have four of the same asset. So I can get that one as well. Which is two experience points. And then if I had seven health I could get that one as well but all right so I got bam bam and now I'm a scout so the cool thing is I'm now gonna take this poor weak walker character and I'm gonna put the scout on That's cool. if I can figure out what she looks like which one is the scout she has the gas mask <laughs> I have to say, Awakened Realms is knocking out of the park recently, bro. Mm -hmm. Lewis Goldberg is here, so friend of mine thank from you. San Antonio, I believe. It's been years for me. Granted, we're only seeing hands. That's true. Well, there is a picture in picture there, right down there in the I'm bottom. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. So, anyways, I was there. Now I have a scout. That's awesome. Okay. That's a freaking cool miniature, man. Mm-hmm. All right. What else? That was my turn. So now your your action phase. So All you right. get a move. Okay, so my action phase, I can move and trace step. So um, you don't have anybody you're going to be fighting, right? So there's not going to be any combat? And that's right. I don't have any combat currently. Okay. So I can move two. Yep. So now you said earlier, I have to remind myself, if we move through, we get this. Nope. Only when it's you only stop. Only where you land, yep. Only when you stop. And this gives me a program one, and that gives me a prepare one, right? Yep. All right. Well, let's see here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go here. Okay. Let's well, wait. No, no, no. I want to prepare one. I'm sorry. So I think I'll go down here. Cool. Here, so, here we let you program three if you want to try to cook it over. But, yeah, you got it. Prepare one. Go ahead. So that gives you... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if that'll be enough, but... I might get an enemy, too, so... One, two, three. I'm rolling one yeah. die, baby. So am I. So this lets me program three, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So I will go one. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Two. And got to got to leave those there because I'm firing off yep. to, get, mm -hmm. to get the master. And you're getting um, the experience and you're getting the yep, armor. Yep, so yep. That's a bad. That's, that's a, so that's cool. pretty cool. That's really cool. Pretty cool. All right, so that is that. I didn't even use my third, but I don't want to. Okay. So that's going to be that. So now I launch, yep. right? Now you launch. Okay. Um, but it says district effect step is next. Yeah, that's using the, prepare, oh, the, program, the program thing. Program. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then launch step. So I'm going to launch to get master. And then I launch, so that's these right here. Yep. And then I launch to get the experience. So oh, you could have spent these to get something, a health. At the beginning? At the end of the planning phase, in the light blue phase. You can spend it to get one of these or raise your health. That's what I was going to do. Um, and then you're going to get one from your new. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do this. Okay. And then you're going to get one for that. Yep, one from this, and, and then, then I also shield. do a green one yep. shield. And that lets me do this, which reduces my track by two. Nice. One, two. And gain a chosen gain a asset. Gain a chosen asset, so I can choose one of these four. Mm -hmm. So I'll get a power. And uh, so then I can I can change this. You have to go to a space that will let you change got it. Got it. Okay, understood. But the shelter, you can change it. Okay, no so, worries. Yep. All right, so I got that. Nice. And uh, that's all I can do, I think. So yep. these come off along with these. Nice. And these right here. You left two in the middle. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Was good. So combat phase, none. 
So we're quest phase. So we ran around, we found our bodies. Oh wait, I don't know, you, you and this poor scout. Give what are me you, the, master. the master of puppets, huh? Yes. Which one's the master of puppets? I gotta. I'm pulling your strings. It's a very cool miniature. It is. It's the one that I think has all of the like. I can't remember. All of the I can't remember. Yep, it's that. The one. tentacles. The tentacles that are coming out of fingers, maybe tentacles. or. Hmm, why can't I see it? I'll just pick. Is it that? That's not it. Let me see the picture. I think it might be, but I don't know. Master of puppets. Oh, she's the screen one. No. Gosh darn it. I have no idea what's happening right now, people. We're trying to pick your tune. I, my tune. <laughs> oh, there it is. Puppets. Woohoo! Oh, uh, that's a creepy miniature. You gotta show this one. Oh, the other Lewis Goldberg. I apologize, Lewis. Um <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I'm loving it. That deserves a shot. That deser that's amazing. That deserves a shot. The master of puppets. So we are doing that. That's awesome. And boom. Master. Master. It's got the strings master. and the little robots and everything. Master. So that's my master of puppets mini. Where's your... Uh, she goes right there. Yep, she goes right there. Here is his scout mini. It is super awesome. While we're here. Indeed. She's like being picked up by the drone and carried off somewhere. Super cool mini. It goes over there, I think. Okay. All right. No combat steps, so we're to the goal phase. All right. If all players have body cards, you feel decently prepared to tackle upcoming challenges. Each player gains two experience. Here, we're getting serious. Two experience. We both get two experience. Ooh. You get three memory. Three memory? Man, I'm maxed out. I got memories for days. And draw one class augment card. So you're going to draw one of your class augment cards off the top of your deck. Alright. Now to play this class augment card during the upgrade phase, you have to pay that number of memory. Got it. So this is in your hand. It's not actually... I'm just going to keep it right. Wherever you want to be, but it's not it, it, It's not one of your active Mine augments. Mine says Circuit Melter. Any time... I can play it. I can use it anytime. Each time you launch a faction augment pattern, you may deal two damage. Okay. You don't have any faction augments out yet, so um, we haven't even talked about factions yet. But okay. Um, yeah, raid super, scenario. Super originally, uh, super original minis. That's for sure. Yeah, be. very original minis for sure. Okay. Um, and now we're gonna draw card five. Man, I'm about to whoop up on something. All right, here we go. Card five. You want to read it? Sure. Oh, man. Holy <laughs> block of text, Batman. <laughs> I asked him. Flesh and steel. The whole body changing and augmenting your software instead of learning makes you uneasy. Treating your mind like a piece of software, transferring it, augmenting it. Are you even human? It all feels wrong, but at the same time, empowering. Becoming someone else in a matter of seconds. You're out of you're out in the street again, and almost immediately a noise attracts your attention. You see a young man running frantically, failing to outrun two droids. They close in on him and strike merciless, mercilessly at his back. His lifeless body hits the ground with a wet sound. You're not even sure if he is dead, but I'm sorry, or if his mind is new, now somewhere in the net seeking another vessel. From your angle, all you can see is a mechanical arm picking up the synthetic shell to take it away. The other droid spots you and charges. You're prepared to meet your end as two people appear out of nowhere, blocking the droid's path. They look well-armed, their skins glimmering with metallic wires, Time to battle. their heads hidden under heavy helmets. Unfortunately, more droids are approaching from a distance. This will be one hell of a fight. Immediate effect, each player discards all attached enemies, then draws and attaches two enemies from the bottom of the enemy deck. Read the scenario sheet instructions AO5A. Okay. Wow. So from the bottom of the enemy deck, my first enemy is a net searcher with 13 health. Ooh. My second enemy is an oracle. That doesn't sound good. With 13 good. health. 
Your first Ooh. enemy. Oh, sure. I get a pulverizer with only 11 health. Oh, here. And I get two pulverizers. Okay. Um, sweet. So we just got swarmed by robots. That's okay. And we watched somebody get smushed. All right. A O five A. Do I'm we... gonna make them chop their breakfast on a mirror. <laughs> so A O five A just tells you how to reset when you die. Funny <laughs> oh, <my laughs> That's exactly goodness. what it tells you. Not much foreshadowing <laughs> no. there at all. It tells you how to reset when you die. By the way, read this before combat starts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. Our goal is to defeat enemies. All right. Here's the special rules. When a player defeats an enemy, we're going to place one green check mark on this card. When a player repels an enemy, which means flees from an enemy, we are going to place one of these on the card. When a player dies and resets, not dies, it's called resets, when a player resets, we're going to place two of these on the scenario card. Hmm. So this is going to be how we determine what goes on, and that player gains no corruption. Um, world activity, if there's at least four tokens of any kind on the scenario sheet, the battle is over, and we draw card six. So we get... So if we want green check marks, that's the good result. Anything else, probably the bad result. I'm scared, Papa Smurf. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was supposed to put these out, by the way. Oh, we all we always have bodies that we can move into. We do. Ooh. Now, the way that bodies work is you have one body, you have one advanced body, which is cool. You can get a second advanced body and go on top, and then there's places that will let you change to your dif different advanced bodies, like the shelter. You can switch back. Um, if the top advanced body ever gets destroyed, then you would go. You would refer back to the other one. So. Anyways, you can get another advanced body and go right on top of this one. So that is possible. Okay. So anyways, that's our, our goal now is to defeat the enemies. Okie dokie. And it's all based on... We just keep going until there's four tokens on this card of whatever kind there is. Whew. So, all right. Man, up to wow. the planning phase. So the first thing we do is we trace. Now see, this is the bad thing. So your trace is nothing. Right. My trace is I have to roll one. Of, <laughs> I have to roll one of these Suck dice. Fish. Dun, dun, now, that dun. adds another guy. Now I could spend a reroll to reroll it, but I only have one chance in <laughs> That's not nothing to get. So I actually have to add somebody from the top, and I now have a third enemy, a Dude. catcher. So and I have to be enemyless to. Yeah. So I got three enemies now. Now we're going to plan. And so as soon as you draw an enemy, though, this goes back to zero. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's cool. I, I was like, man, you're going to be drawing no, yeah. enemies Then it would go down and go back to zero. Well, you typically well, you, you yeah. buy it anyways. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, now we're drawing from our bags. All right, so we And can... remember, you can program six. I can program five. Uh, oh, you can program two extras. Now oh, you can, can program, program seven. seven. All right. And so... I can program six. One. Because of my cloud networking. Two. And I think that's it for me, so all this has to go back in. Now you can cull tokens out of your bag um, by spending memory. Um, not out of your bag, technically. They'll come off your launcher two, at first. But three. You can cull tokens. Four. If you want to specialize. Five, all right, so I have six, six. moves. Gosh, too bad. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can, I can do seven? Yep. Okay, so I'm pulling seven tokens out of the bag. No, you're pulling all the blue tokens. You get seven moves, seven programs. Got it, got it. Understood. Sorry. No, um, that's my bad. All right, so I need at least to go for an experience point. I'm going to go one. One, two, two. three. These ones aren't going to do me three. any good, so I'm just going to get them both off of blue. Four, five. Okay. Four. Five. Now Six, I can spend seven. I have four of these. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend Six. two to get my health up to seven. <clears throat> and now this goes down to here. When I launch a red basic pattern, I get a shield as well. 
Um, I mean, and come over to where I am, bro. Then I'm going to... Why? Because you get plus one attack if you're where I am. Oh. Within one space? Nope. Or you in the are, same district? You are, in, you are on the current and adjacent district house. Oh, yeah. So I, mean, you have, I can be adjacent. Can be yep. in, anywhere in here. Well, don't stay there. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna. All right. And I'm going to spend these other two to draw a class augment. So one of the things you can do for leveling up is you can draw two class augments and pick one to keep. Got it. To put in your hand. So... Um, each time you lost the acid pattern. Right. Oh, I have two experience, so I can do that. This oh, one would yeah. go at the bottom of the deck, or the bottom. The one I don't pick goes at the bottom. Okay. So the other so, thing I can do with my memory <laughs> is I can play these out. So I'm going to spend two memory to get my third augment going, which is data recycling. Once per launch step, I can dump one data to prepare two. So I can pull a guy off of there and I can prepare two others. Um, and I'm going to spend two experience. I'm probably going to spend two to get this one out too. And I'm just going to gain a wild. And put it in. This one says if I launch with a wild, I get an extra asset of the same type. So, so now I got four augments going. You're awesome. What did you, you, what did you do with that? No, I had, I had three. Uh -huh. I spent two to get this. Oh, right on. Okay. All right. On to the next step. So, action phase. Action phase. Move. All right. So, we need to be close. Where do you think you're going to go? Um, I'm I don't gonna, really I'm going to go wherever there's a two <laughs> for this. Because I, I ain't oh, about getting What's more your enemies. speed? Oh, your speed's... You can't get there. No. Because you need to no, change No, I can your, get here. I can go one, two. That's, oh, this is me. Yes. Okay. So maybe you should go there. If you change that, then you get that, right? Yes. So I'm going to go to here. Um, I have three movement. Launch you one, basic asset too. pattern. Shouldn't you go there too? No, I'm going to go here. I'm going to launch one basic asset pattern. Man, you, you, just, oh, you might have man. all them enemies, bro. What's wrong with you? Freak, I, want I the, ain't helping you with your enemies. That gives me two power. Well... It also gives you two more enemies, maybe. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to launch these three. Um, and by doing that, I get two power. You also get this, too, right? No, I'm just... This is... I'm using the tile to launch oh, it. Oh, I understood. I understood. Um, okay. I'm going to go there. That does give me four. One, two, three, four. So that does put me to two dice. Ouch. And then, and then I get a launch normally, and I you would do your action this. phase and combat phase, and nope. then I do mine, or so I do my I action do, phase, I, yeah. and then we both go into the combat. Then we both phase. go into the combat okay. phase. So I'm gonna go one, two over here, mm -hmm. and that allows me to change this to this. You can, you can change any of the four colors you want. That's why you oh have change that it token. to the any four any of the four. Colors. You can change it to any one you like. Does it matter? I mean, Maybe if you have specific tokens or something that's I really don't important right now. But yeah. Um, so that does that, and that allows me to do here, which gets me two experience. Nice. And then have at least six tokens in on your launcher. Six blue tokens. Six oh blue tokens, which I don't. I've only got three. Yep. So no worries. All right. So that's that. Um, and now you launch. And I launch. So I'm going to launch green, blue, and an experience. Nice. So green goes that. I don't get a blue, which I probably should have You should have spent that. some of your blue. Can you spend blue to get that card open? You could have um, spent one for that. Yeah, it doesn't do me any good, though. That's yeah. true. That's true. But I can to equip spend... one chosen augment card to the cost. So it has That's to be in that. my hand. Yep. To uh, discard data tokens or to choose extra basic tokens to put in your dot. Gain so. one chosen beta so I can choose. Okay, I'll choose. Okay. I'll spend one to choose a blue. Okay. And, and put it in my dump. So yeah. I can then start working towards back. that. Yep. And then what? Then you'd get one back. Then I'll get one back. Yeah. Yep. Boom, boom. And then experience, you gave me that, right? Nope. You already had three. I think. Um, I didn't give you one. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I had one to start with. I got this, which gave me two. Yep. And then... And you just got that one. And then I just got that one. Got it. Right on. You got a lot of shields. You got a lot of smarts. 
Okay, mm -hmm. now we're going to combat phase. Okay. This is going to hurt. So I get you a roll. Have, you have plus one attack. Oh, I do. So one extra one. I am going to roll. Should I just hit it hard? I could get up to five more. I don't even know. Does it splash? One. Nope. It only goes on to you one. Kill one. Kill the next one. Kill the next one. Uh, I, w I would go. But you don't attack with all of them at once, right? I'm attacking. Yeah. They're attacking. Yep. I'm attacking. Yep, they're yep, attacking. Yep. I'm probably, I I could actually die right here. Okay. So that's what I'm rolling. One from you, two from that, and three extra from my power. Okay. All right. This is an attack from. Feels good. <laughs> All right. I do have rerolls, so that's only going to go on one enemy. So only the net searcher is going to attack me, that's good. even though I have three. So this attack dice. So that's five of those and a blank. Honestly, I think I'm going to reroll it. I don't really want to reroll it, but oh, yeah. all right. Okay. Okay, so I get to attack first. Now, I don't have any cool attack stuff down here because my character's a, a scout with uh, a whisperer scout, so um, she's not super great at attack. I could, so this is going to do one, two, three, four, five damage, and I can do all that damage in one action on that card. Yep. So that would do five damage, which isn't enough. Um, <clears throat> oh, I get it also, I forgot, I get to reduce my trace by one. Every time I move with the scout, so cool. Um, so that's five damage. These are used up. And then he gets to attack. So he attacks me and does two damage. So mm -hmm. I take two. Oh, I take. I'll take two on my shield. That's a good idea. And then I get to do this, which will either give me two re rolls or two more damage to him. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna take the two re rolls. I think. Yeah. I'm going to take the two rerolls. That point is the point at which you died. I didn't die. Always do damage. Uh-oh. That's my I, He knows a life hack. <laughs> All right, so uh, my attack is equal to the sum of the damage that they will do from the top two attached enemies. That's so correct. at six. Six. So I have six attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And uh, I could add one to that, but I don't think I will. I'll think I'll save the one. Okay. I think six is probably enough to do some damage. Maybe not to kill, but where to go? There he is. Okay, so he's only attacking me as no. well. Oh, that was uh, one of these guys. Mm -hmm. So I've got these. Plus this and this. This is going to do two damage at least, but I could do if it has three or less, but that's not going to happen. Uh, I am going to spin this to reroll. Why not? There you go. So that's one more one damage. Extra damage. So I think what we'll do, since we don't have... it, it so doesn't... We only get check marks for defeating enemies. So Yeah, so this will go up here. And that will do five damage. So basically, our goal here is to kill four bad guys. Yep. That would be our optimal. Well, you you might be getting more. But right? our goal is to kill four. Once we've once there's four tokens here. Oh, then I get we you. Move I get on. You. So okay. So that's five. He's down to six. And now he uh, attacks me for three damage. Yep. Which sucks. So we'll just take that from here. Okay. But it was nice. We both rolled a one. So yep, yep. Combat phase is over. All right. You already used this, right? Uh, oh, no, no I did it. not. So now it's your attack turn again. So I can attack again. I don't have three or less, so I might as well just go ahead and use that. And get yep. Two more. yep, yep. All right, now combat phase is over. So we go here, we check, see if there's enough tokens. There's not enough tokens. Otherwise, we're going to... I don't think this one has a round tracker. It does not. That should have come off. All right, we're next round. So we're at planning. So we're doing trace first. So I gotta roll one of these. Oh, look at that! Nothing. Oh, you got so lucky. <laughs> okay, so now lucky. we're doing our programming. And I don't have to roll any because. Oh wait, I should have taken one more, right? 
Yes. Because I moved to where that is. Yep, so you have to roll one so as well. I have to roll one as well. Here we go. And Look your at you. face ascend. Very nice. Oh, and now we're programming. Mm -hmm. So if I can set so off a... Preparing, not programming. i got to get the... Yeah, that's right. We're preparing. If I can set that off in a basic deal, I can get two instead of one because of my cybernetic perception. I like all the special abilities. All right. Now, for my enemy... Um, if I get four, I can do an unlock one. I honestly don't remember what unlock is. Unlock, unlock. Discard X chosen. Oh, if I roll four blues because of the net searcher, I can get rid of one of these purples. Love internet dead zones. Going to have to watch this later. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's on um, him. He's the one. He's the one that's moving around, not us. So, so this one's interesting. For each unlocked data slot, I can do three damage. So I need to see if I can unlock some of those. Mm -hmm. How do I unlock those? Spend two XP. I only have one. How do you unlock what? These. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Because I could do more damage if I unlocked it. But yeah. um, So none of his specials are going to do me any good. I still have seven. I need because four you have some, something... Huh? I still have seven programming. You still have seven. You're going to always have seven because I'm always going to... I could take two extra myself, I guess, and then you don't get any, but I'll take two, six. Three. So I want... There's nothing good here. I need experience, though. So I need to get an experience point. One, two. Do they have to be connected for you One, to... Uh, two. Three. Four. I have two left. Will I be able to fire both of these off at the same time? Five. Six. Yes. Mm-hmm. Five, six. Okay, I got mine. All right, I got mine too. I have nothing cool to beat this guy. All right, so we are on to move and trace. So, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything out there that makes me super happy. I'd like to get another body, but I'm not going to prepare and program one. The problem here is, is trying to hit the twos, right? Because even if you stay there, you get two. Yeah. Um... I'll go here. I don't need to program one, though. Two greens, three greens. Yep, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go there. Now let me prepare one. I'm going to see where I'm going here. Oh, bummer. Okay. So I take two trace, but since I'm a scout, I only take one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to fire off my... I'm going to launch. So I'm going to launch red... And since I launched it with a this, I get two power. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to launch for an experience point. And that is it. Okay. I'm going to move here since if I stay here, I'm going to get two anyway. Mm -hmm. Might as well. I'm just going to move out here. And that lets me prepare one. And I can put it anywhere I want. Right? You could, yeah. Yeah, well, this doesn't really matter. Um, That's kind of funny. I don't know why I didn't put it somewhere else. Here. Yep. Put it there. I'm going to pretend I put mine here. No, Actually, I'm going to put it here Never instead mind. because that one's going to stick around. Okay. All right, so that's that. And then I... You get two trace. Well, wait, I can, I can um, spin this stuff, right? That was before you move, yeah. Oh, before so you're I'm leveling up in the planning well, phase. I, I, That's I meant, fine. I meant yeah, to yeah. do that. All right, yeah, yeah. so can I spend all of it? Uh -huh. So can I spend four to get rid of two of these? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, you're leveling up in the planning phase when you're yep, doing yep, the yep. programming and everything else. So I'm just going to go with this and this. Nice. Oops, sorry. I'm done there. 
All right. Um, and then I launch, so I basically just get two experience. Nice. It's getting better and better. Okay. Um, and then you still need to get your two. That's it. What's that? You still need to get your two trace. Um, one, two. All right. Combat phase. My attack is two, three, because of you. And I'm going to go four more. I'm just going to go. No, I'll go three more. I think I should go all out. Give me one more. I'm going to go four more. I'm going to burn all my power. I have a question. Yeah. In your attack, mm -hmm. I know you said that your damage doesn't bleed over into the other one. Mm -hmm. But let's say that I kill this guy and I still have dice left over. Then you attack the next then guy you come your in next your, turn. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, cool. All right. Because yeah. you're attacking multiple turns in your attack as yep, long yep, as yep. you have dice left. Oh, that's horrible. So the problem with three of those is I can't actually use three. And so this is all three enemies are going to attack me with that. Saying somebody going to die? Shh. <laughs> but see, this one sucks because I can only use it once. And these obviously suck too. So I'll take the two rerolls. But, uh, but don't you have two different things you can mm -hmm. use them for? I have three of them. Oh, so one of them re rerolls. One of them's a waste. Yeah, I'm rerolling two blanks. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh absolute that waste. That sucks. All right, so I get to attack first. He has 13 health. I've only done five to him, so my best. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do two to him with that. Oh, my scout's gonna die. Okay, so he's up to seven. Then this guy out here gets to attack me. He's attacking me for two damage. So as soon as he does two damage to me, then it goes to the next guy. So now it's my turn again. Yep. I've already spent this one. Yep. Or I can leave it there. Do, do oh, you, I can must spend you leave this it there. one. Must yes, you leave it it's, yeah, because it's used. I can't use that action oh, again that for the whole combat. That sucks. So I'm going to spend this one to get two rerolls. Bing, bing. I guess at least I can use those. On my next turn, um, this guy is going to attack me Does for two, two damage. damage. Ow. And then this moves to the next guy. Doesn't matter what the number is now. Yeah. Um, so then those two are spent. I'm going to go ahead and do two re rolls and hope I get two of those. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then I'm going to do three damage to him. So he's at 10. He needs three more damage to die. And then he's going to attack me for two more. Ease, Louise. Yep. Enemies are brutal. Brutal. That was my attack. That was my fight. I did poorly. Ah, but crap. I'm a scout. I'm not a huge fighter. so. All right. So I get six. Um, I'm going to do the extra one. Okay. Just in case. There you go. And... See what we can do here. Ooh, bad roll. Yeah, now you With know no I re rolls. Oh. With no re rolls. And so this guy's going to attack me first. Yep. All right. So, um, let me see. What does he got? He's got five, six, seven, right? Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to use seven, eight. How many hit points does he have total? Well, he's got 11. 11, right on. Yeah, he's got 11, perfect. so 8. Yeah. Yep. And that knocks him up there. And then he's going to do his... Well, he's going to do his damage. Yep. Which is 3 damage. Mm -hmm. Ouch. 1, 2... What's nice, because... 3. Yep. And then I'm going to use this to do this down here. Yep. Which allows me to just defeat this guy. Okay, so you get one experience. Yeah, that goes with some discard, and that dice was on that guy, so it's right. gone now. So it's gone now. So he doesn't attack me again. Yep, but you have two dice left. But I can hit him for two more. Okay, so we get one check mark. One, two. Cool. And that's that. Man, that's that could have been. Yeah. That was that sucky. So that's combat phase. 
We don't have four tokens, so we're moving on. So now we're back to planning phase where we're going to do our trace. And mine's at two now. Mine is two. Oh, crap. So that's going to add none. So it doesn't add on that or that. It only adds on the little. So I'm pretty lucky. And that adds one. One. And he goes underneath. Mm -hmm. A catcher. Yep, he goes underneath. Okay. So now your trace drops to zero. And we're planning, programming, and leveling up. Trace is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was originally thinking... I don't thinking, know. I'm almost man. dead. Well, I understand <laughs> that. But you also had three dudes, and they all three attacked you. Mm -hmm. I, I was able to knock one of my guys out before yep. he was able to hit me. So, okay. understood. Right. So we are drawing, we're preparing, we're programming, and we're leveling up as much as we want. So in leveling up, I'm going to go ahead and spend these two... To level up my max health. Anytime you level up your max health, your health goes up as well. So at least that'll get me up to four. Um, for that portion. And then for programming. Launch step, I can heal. You still get two extra. So I get six programs. Um... All right, what do I need? I need everything. I need shields. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm programmed. I'm programmed. I'm leveled. And I'm ready to go. These guys have been tough. I do have reconstruction protocol, so I can heal myself soon. A little bit. How's everybody doing over there? Hope you're doing good. Sorry, sometimes we get head down because yeah, we're focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, four, five, would have been nice if I could have picked up a knight, huh? Six. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to, before I move, I'm going to Should spend, have paid attention. I could have got that guy. I'm going to spend two more to get rid of one of these. Yeah, I should have paid attention. Hmm? Those go. Okay. More space, more space. Yeah. When you filled in, did you fill those in too? I did. Right on. I did, I did. Okay, so you're programmed, you're leveled up. Yep. All right. On to my action phase. I need two red. I don't want any of this stuff, and I definitely don't want any bad things. Where are you going to go? Because I need to be within one of you for that extra dice. Uh, I'm going to stay as low as I possibly can on this. So I am going to be living on these right here. So So do you need to program? Um, it doesn't matter, I guess. If you're going to live on one of those three, I'm going to go over here. By going over here, I don't gain any more dice. Yep. And I don't need to do a program. So I'm oh, just... didn't shouldn't you have reset? No, I didn't get a new guy. Oh. Got I did it. not get a new guy. Understood, so. understood. So I'm gonna move to the shelter. Because I'm a scout, I take one less trace. So I'm not gonna get any more trace. I don't need a program. So yeah. I'm good right there. Okay, so you're staying there? Yep. I'm gonna come over here as well, because it makes me only go up one. Okay. So I guess the way that move Add trace, district effect, I'm not going to use, but I am going to then, then for my launch step. During my launch step, I can spend a memory to gain a health, so I'm going to heal up. I don't know if it'll save me, but I'm going to try. And then... Oh, what can I have? Uh, I get one shield. What can I spend memory on? I keep forgetting to do that. I get one shield, one experience, and one power. Can you do as many of these as possible? Mm-hmm. Yes. But you can, uh, okay, because I'm going to spend one to get another blue added. Okay. To my uh, dump. I keep forgetting I can do that. Yep, That's yep. my bad. It's okay. And you're done? I am done. Okay. Uh, I need to launch. So I'm going to get one, two, three experience. Holy macaroni. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah, we're leveling up. Okay. So are you ready? Combat? Yep. I'm not ready. I don't have any power this time. So I get two dice for my scout, plus one from you, plus one for power. That's all I get. And that's all I, I need. I really should have pushed to get a combat focus yeah. deal, I think. I should have picked up a combat focus deal. What are you doing? Five? Huh? That's not bad. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing four. Oh, okay. I'm doing four. Oh, so three guys are going to attack me with their special <laughs> oh, abilities. Oh, no. Okay. You are indeed. Three guys are attacking me with their special abilities. That's all I know. <laughs> all right. I am going to spend these three. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm going to spend these three to do one damage each. So he's going to take 13 damage, so he will be dead. <clears throat> so I get to at least kill the net searcher. Okay, and killing the net searcher, we get another question mark. Check mark, it's not a question mark. Or check mark, question that mark, it. that's bad. Uh, no, it's not. Right. Question mark, did I kill him? It's no. Check yeah. mark, I killed him. All right, so then this guy is going to the top enemy, heals one. Oh, that sucks. But there's he doesn't to have heal. anything to heal, and I take two damage. Oh, that's not bad. So there's one, two, I'm still alive. With my second action, I am going to... Smack him for two. Yep, smack him for two. That's all I can do. Although, he's going to heal one of them. What? I'm not going to smack him for two, because he's going to heal one anyways. I'm going to use that to gain two rerolls. Okay. For later. He's going he's gonna to heal one, and he's going to do three damage to me. So, one, two, three. I am at one health. Can you get that other? Yes. It's under there. Hop. That's the end of my. So you got to kill two people here, really quick. I don't know. That's going to happen. Uh -huh. It's over there. You see it? Yep. Got it. Oh. All right. Here we go. So I get five dice because it's three plus two. Yep. And then there are two dice. All right. Only the front guy is attacking me, but he's going to do a special. Nice. And. Up to you. I don't care. I'll just do that. So this, this. I don't have a reroll. So all right. What can I do to get rerolls again? Turn in yellows. Turn. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Or any kind of special things you got going. All right. On, so but. this dude's gonna attack me with his special ability, which means he's gonna hit me for four damage after your turn. After my turn. So can I do eight damage to him or nine damage? No, I probably can't. <laughs> you wish. This All right, well, I'm going to get five, full hairy carrot. six, seven. Why five? Oh, no. I'm oh, sorry. depending on if it's his last three. Two, right, yeah. Maybe Two, yeah. three, four, five, six. So, no, we won't be able to do it. He's going to hit me. Yep. He's going to hit me. All right. So, Let's we'll start off it. with, we'll start off with two. Okay. Um, Maybe two. Um, yeah, I need one. Just give me one. So there's two. That's four. We're not very combat and ready. And then he hits me for four. Ouch. I'm down to one, dude. <laughs> that's nastiness right there, brother. Wow, me too. That's nastiness hey. right there. And then, um... He's gonna hit him for two more, but I can I can do it over here. I can just take take one. Oh, okay. I think he's at four. Yeah, so I put him at six. Four. That would put him at six. So yeah, I'll just put these out. Okay. Well, we survived combat. We're on to the next round. Planning phase. So first thing is trace. I got two trace dice. Five, six. Yeah, he's got so I get two more enemies. I, uh, I don't have to roll. I get two more enemies. Did you hear that? Oh, my goodness. Now, to be fair, no more than three enemies can attack you on a turn. But still. Still. <laughs> Man. Well, I'm can getting you... hammered. You cannot help me whatsoever. No, no, I'm not saying that. No. But I'm saying, will you be able to knock one dude out? Maybe not, right? All right that's 13 damage. I got to do 13 damage. Jeez Louise. No way. Dump any number of 
reds to deal two damage for each dump. I might be able to. I need deal to pound on some whole bunch of reds and here. Roll a okay. Blank, on a blank deal All for right. So, anyways, three. that comes back down. You don't have to roll. So now we're programming, planning, programming. Hmm. Late night here in Sweden. McStava says. Think I'll get a beer from the fridge to keep me company. Bring me one, please. Cheers. <laughs> Pretty please. All right, so one, two, three. All right, so I need as many reds on my board as possible. And I'm not going to get any, am I? Oh, wait, I got to make sure I have everything out. I there's know. one. Oh, there's two. I need one more red. Gosh darn it. Jeez. So if I fire that, I'll only have two left. So I can do... Oh, I don't have any more. I can do four damage off of that. It'll be enough, but I can do four damage. Ha. Huh. Okay. So I don't care where those go, because they're not going to help me. I'm going to dump them all. Man, I'm one away. One away from having six. Really? Yeah, stinky poo-poo. One, two, three. That'll stay there, I think. Doesn't matter. Okay. I don't have much to do on this round, but that's So, okay. does it have to be a wild, or can yeah, it be anything? It has to be a wild. Oh, that sucks. All right. So, a yellow... What is this? Whatever that's my... anything. Anything and core. Yep. So yellow, anything, and core, which is blue, is one of these, and I can roll that. All right, so mm -hmm. that's staying there. Um, yellow, anything, and core. So yellow, anything, and core. Bing. You can only fire those once. Oh, okay. Well, no, actually. Hmm. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. What is this? Oh, game one corruption. That's oh, that's the runaway one. Yeah, that's, that's the runaway one. Runaway. I might start running away. <laughs> well, yeah, I got one as well, so. I could. Um, I could have run away. It'd be easier to beat the next guy. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know if you can multi shoot do those ones. I think you can the other ones. Apple check. I think you can only do those once per round. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Alright, well we'll we'll make it. We'll stay. just go for that for now. Alright, so um this I think all stayed the same. This is how it was. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Um Four. Got two of those. Five. Six. Grabbing one of those. And then we'll put this up to there as seven. So I'm going to be able to fire off that one, that one, that one, and that one. Nice. Okay. Level up. Yes. I am going to do two. To get this guy out of here. Man. You and really then want those. I am going to also do two to gain one of these. And then I will do Discard one data token from your launcher to discard one from here. Yep. Why would you do that? Oh, it to gets it, call gets it, it gone. To call yeah, it, to call yeah, it out. Yeah. And then choose one augment. The cost is on the augment card. Well, this doesn't do me any good because I don't have no, any faction but you augments. Can, you, you can spend two of these to get more augments, too. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll okay. chill for now. All but right. um, I will do one of these. Dang, I wish I had. Man, I don't have any yellows. Try to get another blue, or what are you trying to do? Oh, you're trying to get rerolls. You need to get some yellows, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been pretty weak on my last couple rolls. I'm not going to survive this round, though. So, 
I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Um, I'm going to I'm going to get a shield, so that'll give me yeah. two hit points. All right. So for my movement, I'm going to move to here. Raises this by one for me. Allows me to prepare one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't think I can survive. Um, I'll put it there. Okay, so then during my launch phase, I'm actually launching this one, which is... Oh, wait. Why didn't I move this one up? Just do it. Yeah, that was dumb. Because I was thinking I had to launch it first. Yep, yep. So I'm launching... It's kind of crazy. So I'm launching this. Yep. So for every red that I dump along with that, which is these two, I get two points of damage to this guy. Yep. So that's going to be four points of damage to him for those. Uh -huh. Plus I get one power. And I get one red. Or one blue, excuse me. Yeah. And then that's it for that. Yep. Okay, and go ahead. You get a move and launch. Um, b -b 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 you guys have so much health. Uh, yes, I'm going to. Let's see. Prepare toast, one. Prepare toast. one. Let's me put one out. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe. So that gives me two. One, two. And I can prepare one. Come on, be a blue. Come on, be a blue. I got this whole horde of robots chasing me around. It's not a blue. So I'm going to place it. No. Place it here. Okay. No, Max. Go away. All right. Launch. And then I will launch. So I'm going to get a blue. I get a green. And... Uh, I get an experience point, and I get to launch this little bad boy, which deals three damage to this, but I get to roll a die, and if I get the big honka monka, oh, what am I doing? I have three over here. Right? <laughs> so if I get the big honka monka, I could do three more. Oh, nice. Nope. Oh, that's right. cool. But that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So, okay, we'll see. I'm gonna pull all your stuff off. Did you get all your goodies? I did. I got a blue. Yep. Um, I got a green. A green. And I got an experience point, and I did that. Okay. So. Look at all that cool stuff you get a program. What do you think about the programming? So I far? like it's it. It's really crazy. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. right, so that's everything that came off. You got the experience too. Yeah. I was I was empty. I, I was know. Empty. Was it that line? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't no, know. I, the, I don't know. I had, know an, I had oh, an experience up here. No worries. Not okay. here though. So now to combat. This was empty. So, you ready to watch me die? Everybody ready to watch me die? I'm gonna die too. I, I get one of those. One of those because of you. I get one more because of my power. And I gotta roll two of these. Here we go. <laughs> Watch three of them attack me. Oh, right. Only two. Two are going to attack me with their special abilities. Oh, that sucks. Oops. I can re-roll this guy. All right. He has four damage on him, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to survive. I'll just do it quick. I'm just going to do. Um, can't remember if my assets go, so I'm going to get two re-rolls. And then this guy's going to do heal him for one and do two damage to me, which kills me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I have to do a reset. My combat phase is over. When I drop to zero, I got to roll one enemy sided dice, one, one enemy simple dice. Mm -hmm. If I roll this thing, my body dies, my yeah. scout dies. Okay, I lose dies. the scout. I'm back to a walker. Then I gain two corruption, but in this scenario, I don't gain two corruption. I just have to put two of these over here on the card. 
That's four tokens, though, right? That's four tokens. So this is our last round. Yeah. Um, then I dump all my data. So all anything that's on my board gets dumped. Then I discard all attached enemies. Hmm. Um, set my health to maximum. And place my standee in the shelter. That's not my standee anymore. <laughs> I'm back to the uncool one. <laughs> Okay, that was my turn. All right, so on this one, I am going to get five attack. So one, two, three, four, five, and the two dice here. So come on, just one, just one, just one. Nope. Three. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Nope. All right, so what's going to happen here? Uh, but it's just going to be two damage, which is going to still be enough to kill me because I'll take one here and then one there, right? Yep. So, um, I don't have any rerolls, so I can't do anything here. But, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He only nice. has three. So, I'll be able to do this and knock him out. Nice. Well, that's one more, so, that's one more experience for you. Yeah. And one more check mark. Yep. And then, uh, uh, he attacks. Top enemy doesn't do anything, but he hits me for two. Oh. Which will be one. <laughs> Two. So you do the whole reset thing. Yep. Before you do so the reset I'm thing. Do this. So you have to roll. Come on! I want to stay the master of puppets. Master. Master I of stay puppets. The master. Yes, yes, I'm still the master. If you roll that, you did not discard your active body. All right, but um, I do uh, get. We put two more I of those, did. which already did that. Dump all data tokens. Yep. And set your trace to zero. Not last time. And I get back up to my max health. Nice. And you got a Steam Master go. of Puppets. All right. Sweet. So, here we go. Defeat enemies was our goal. If there's at least four tokens, the battle is finally over. Draw card A6. But I'm just following. Is he I know, but is he talking about three? Huh? three? Is he if talking about four defeated a, enemy tokens? No, minimum four tokens total. Okay. Okay. Oh, I cheated badly. We could have. We were supposed to do a little extra damage to them, but that's okay. I didn't. So cheat. you wouldn't I, have died. I cheated. No, they would have taken. I would have still died. I had four more people to beat me up. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. All right. A O six. Here we go. Beaten and tired, you learn from the soldiers that they belong to the Spartan faction. Ooh. Mm-hmm. They caught you. They caught your readings on the net and were dumbfounded by your by your adaptation level. See, when the shell is destroyed, the mind often dies as well, he says. There aren't many who can escape at will, but it looks like you can upload yourselves back to the cloud whenever you want in an instant. One explains noticing your confusion. I don't know where you're from. But you should join the human resistance. The Spartans will welcome you with open arms. No one can survive on their own, no matter how remarkable their skills. We've been fighting Ascend, the AI, for generations now, long enough that it's all we can remember. There are others, the Ninkyo and the Seekers and the Commoners are the other three factions. So there's four factions, the Spartans, the Ninkyo, the Seekers, and the Commoners. Um, though they're barely worth mentioning. He's talking about the commoners. They're barely <laughs> worth mentioning. <laughs> you should join us. You'd make a great addition, you know. Think about it. We will contact you soon. So apparently we were saved by the Spartans. So the victory condition, here we go. Unlocked component, components. So every time you do something here, you unlock stuff out of the box. Um, if there's at least two green markers... On the scenario sheet, you gain AL1 learning protocol. If there are more, oh, if there are more of these than green markers, you gain AL2 learning protocol. So we actually gain both learning protocols and finish the prologue. That's cool. So we just go through this big old stack of cool stuff. We get a new learning protocol to add to our deck. So this one says launch a red basic pattern, and yep. you get to gain two power, 
in addition to the one that you just got so that would get you three basic uh, three power right there this mm -hmm. one then the next one is roll at least five dice during the attack roll that would again gain, gained you two experience and then step three reach the top space of the trace track what Jeez. you want to go all the way up here and get two times whatever that says yeah, your reward is from now on you can spend one of those to deal two damage and another one to deal two damage. You get two Ooh. extra attacks. Wow, that's an extra four damage though. Yeah, if you can roll those things. Dang. Yep. Anyways, that is the prologue. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that whole thing was the prologue. That whole thing was the prologue. Wow. That was well, that how was, you learned to play the game. That was two hours and yeah. eleven minutes. Two hours and eleven minutes for the prologue. But yeah. That's not. That's with teaching. That's with teaching. So that's really and talking only about there. about you know, an hour and a half. I would imagine. So, hour and a half altogether. Sure. It depends on how long. If you die really quick, <laughs> <laughs> you might. If you die really fast, you can play faster. Yep. <laughs> that's well, cool. what do you think? No, I I really I really dig, I really dig the programming aspect mm -hmm. of it. And I love how they've they've kind of baked into that one mechanism so many different ways to use it. Yeah, so many different like cool things you're, to use. You're you're getting special attacks on on the enemies. You are uh, boosting up your abilities here. Yeah. You're choosing new bodies um, to uh, kind of melt into. Yep. I really like how they've used that mechanism, and it's a cool mechanism too. It is. The only the only time where I actually kind of had a little bit of a lock is when I was trying to match that that uh, sure big and, pattern. and how how do I get yep how do I use all of my programming spots to make it happen mm -hmm. that's the only time my brain really kind of locked up on it mm -hmm. but that's a cool thing man I like it I like it uh, McStabba says well the Spartan sounds like sounds a whole lot cooler than the commoners I joined the Spartans too. The commoners needs to work on their branding. So anytime, <laughs> anytime that one of the factions, because the factions like their hideouts can be on the board. Yeah. So you can go to them and you can buy, um, you can buy augments from them. Yeah. To go along with your class augments, so you can mm -hmm. have class augments and faction augments. Yeah. Um, that's cool. What do these numbers up here mean? That's just a tile. So when you're setting up the game, it tells okay, you which it tells tiles. you what number yeah. tiles to bring out. Okay. Yeah. That's the only thing that those numbers are good for. Yep. Okay. That I know of. Uh, qu what does this say? Quaminator? Yeah, I don't know. What is a quaminator? I don't know. It's a cool. The Terminator. knight looks pretty cool too. Combat He's... phase reduce uh, damage yeah. you suffer by one every time to a take, minimum of one. Yep. Every time you wow. take damage, you get to reduce your damage. So he, mm. he would have been, you know, obviously more tanky. Yep. Um, this guy, each time you lose any amount of health, you gain a reroll. He also gets three attack dice. And he has three movement. Yours has, well, yours had a nice, it's pretty cool with your attack dice. Yep. Um, yeah. Of course, taking, if you're on a couple of low-level guys, right? Like I was one, just going to be rolling two dice next mm -hmm, round. Yep. So, but when you're on a couple high-level guys, and then the enemy deck is all based on how many characters for the prologue. It's just all level one enemies and level one enemies and level two enemies. But for some of the other ones, it's like put four level one enemies, three level two Ooh, enemies. That's the symbol yeah. for you. Just if you get all the way up here, you just take two. You enemies. just draw two enemies, which is somehow not as bad as this. Because this could give you three new enemies. Yeah, if you could get all the way past. Wow. So if you get past it, it's not as bad. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Of course, uh, you know, you have 50% chance to add an enemy each time, right? Yes. So. Right. So, all right. That's pretty cool. Minis are creative. Uh, let's see. Cool game. Like the art and wacky minis as well. Yep. The minis are all creative. Let's pull the minis out and let's uh, go ahead and show there them. Go. Because we can, we can kind of take the uh, phone, and we might as well do that, you know. Mm -hmm. So we'll do this and that, and come on over. So there's a lot of really neat one like this one right here has like a uh, energy shield in front of it, up in front of him that's kind of emanating from his wrist or something to that effect. I don't know. That's a cool one. That's one of my favorites. Just kind of pops. Look at that guy's weapon. Yes. Yeah, this dude this dude rocks. So that's just really neat. This guy's the big Oni looking dude. 
<clears throat> yeah. This one I think is funny because this one looks like he's got a sword. He's sticking a sword into his neck. But I know that's it's, how he draws it, man. He's it's like, just, yeah, he draws it out of his neck. Yeah, yep. he's the Oni of blood. But no, that that just makes it it makes it look like he's he's got his sword sticking out of his neck. But he's you know he's resting it on his shoulders underneath the hair and all that. I get it. But I thought that was pretty funny. What's this big huge snake thing, man? What is this? <laughs> that's a snake fox. What is that? It's like nightmare juice. Check this out, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Mr. Wizard, get me out of here. All oh, the, that is cool. Isn't that cool with all the yep. computer screens? Yeah, that's awesome. That's like cyberpunk version of Professor X. Mm -hmm. Here's a surfboard thing with rockets on it. It's really neat. Did you show him the robot, this guy? Uh, no, not yet. No, we'll get him out. We'll get him out. So there's a huge mech in here, which is pretty cool. But miniatures are all, like, fresh designs, man. There's nothing uh -huh. in here that's like, you know, uh, this is the one that I was hoping was Master of Puppets. Oh. I just sort of, that, that's a cool looking thing all the tentacles and everything so that's a neat one what's the helmet on that one look like that's that's the visionary there's a dude reading a book man this dude needs to like oh it's a notebook it's a laptop okay mm -hmm. it looked like a book when it was in there Slasher, that would be cool. She's got two swords. I don't know where she's at. Yeah. But it's cool. Man, these are these are just like they're fresh minis, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not they're not boring. They're not what um here's your Professor X, man. Yeah. But they're neat. They're super neat. This is the owl man. I think he was the uh like Kickstarter exclusive or maybe like early Bird. Yeah. Early bird. bird. Huh. Yeah. See, I get you with the owl man. No, I think I he's it. like the early. Like I if get you, it. I get it. If you it. backed in the first. I see what he did. 48 hours, you this get the early the bird. This is the early bird. Get it? Ha, mm -hmm. ha, ha. There's birds all over it. That's a cool mini, though. Oh, he gets owl tokens. If you can, uh, you can, you can uh, discard owls to skip combat. Who? Yeah. Who? No, Who? owl. <laughs> Owl named who? <laughs> anyway, Anyways. Get the idea, man. These minis are cool. They're super fresh. They're unique. They don't look like anything else that's out there. And they look really cool. But anyway, that gives you the idea. Yep. Um, go ahead and switch back. Boom. So, that is that. Uh, let's see here. What is uh, Kabuki uh, went on a typing tirade? Look at her. Oh, man. Uh, minis are creative. Any game that has a Master of Puppets mini gets extra points. This is correct. <laughs> the Mutant League Hockey. look Looked like a demented hockey stick that on that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, the Man Who Fell to Earth. <laughs> uh, that was probably the Silver Surfer one. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, watching 20 TVs at once, which is what this one was probably. Yeah, Mr. Talking Wizard. About that. Miss Wizard, minis get me evoke, out of here. Yeah, minis evoke a lot of cool flavor. That is right. Uh, Tim F says, oh, I'm so late to the party. That's okay. Just rewind and watch yes, it. That's cool. right. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, <clears throat> the, Demented Doc Ock. Uh, that was probably yep, the this one. Tentacle yeah. one, yep. The cool thing is, is you can get... One or two, or you could even get another one and discard one, but you can go through these different bodies, you know? Yeah. Any scenario. You could have a combat body and a speedy body That's or whatever, cool. you know? Uh, Tim F. came in late to the party. McStab, a snake fox. Weird. Yeah, really lots of different really cool-looking minis. That is very true. Tim F. says, I just received this game. Need to read the rules still. I was confused by the photos from the Kickstarter campaign and the actual boxes I received. I thought I was missing stuff. Uh, Shiren the Wanderer with that hat. 
That's true. Uh, the owl one, they, I think, yeah. is probably what she was talking about. Owl man is cool, Jesse says. Uh, Jesse is watching from afar, I think. Uh, she's in town already. We've got a uh, rather full night. We have one of our kids is in the color guard, and the other one's in the marching band. And the high school has a football game today. Indeed. So we're going to be going to watch some high school football underneath the Friday Night Lights. All the way up here in Texas. We're not in Texas. Nope. That's I where, hope not. That's I'm... where Friday Night Lights... What do you mean you hope not? That, Get out! My wife would be pissed if I was in Texas <laughs> right now. She'd be like, why are you in Texas? Why are you in Texas, boy? Uh, yes, that is cool. But anyway, this I hope you've enjoyed this. This was a very fun experience, and I hope that fun level kind of translated over into the video because Agreed. this was super fun to play. It's really neat. Super fun to play, and ho hopefully you guys uh, were able to catch on to that. At least they go to the same sporting events. This is true. We will count our small blessings. Um, but we're going to get out of here. It felt faster than that, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it absolutely does. And that's one of the monikers, I think, of, of yeah. when you are having fun. Yeah. Time stands still. Yeah. So it's like I looked up and I looked at the clock and I was like, wow, that, that was two hours. No way did it feel like two hours. No way did it feel like two hours. And nope. that's one of the things, if I can go here real quick. Of course. That's one of the things I always thought about Twilight Imperium. When you're playing the game, oh, yeah. it does not feel by. like six hours. Time is flying by because you're enjoying yourself so much. Yeah. Um, and that's why I kind of always defended it as it's not as bad as it sounds. Because when you're playing the game, mm -hmm. you be quiet. I'm joking. When you're playing the game, <laughs> it just doesn't feel that way. But this is really cool. Did you guys see the cool bags? It's yeah. crazy that they just made these bags. They got graphics, different graphics on each side. Yep. One of the miniatures, I didn't bring that miniature, but one of the miniatures is this chick sitting on a big old mech. I think I sent you a picture. Yeah, of it, you but, did. Yeah. yeah, you did. Sent me a picture. The bags of it are cool. Via text. Yeah. But the the bags are cool. Um, I. This is nitpicky. I don't like the material they're made out of because it kind of st the the tokens stick to the side of the bag. I like that they're it. big enough that I can actually stick my hand. Yes, in them. that is the other side. They are big enough to where you can st where we can stick our hands Sometimes inside. Sometimes you so get that a game that, that has one that's tiny and yep, you like this. <laughs> trying to get one token at a time. So. <laughs> that's absolutely right. Um, thank you all for coming. We had a good time. Yep. Thanks for the play, you guys. You you are welcome, John. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate that. Um, at least they go to the same sporting events. Uh, Tim F says yes. I used to do that with my kids. Now they're eighteen and nineteen. Cool bags too. Uh, Kabuki Kids says, "Oh no, Ti Four flies. You are always involved." That is correct. Even the bags look cool. Great playthrough. Thanks and bye. Thank you, McStabba. We're getting out of here. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Hey, check out tomorrow morning. We're going to be doing a live Q&A. Uh, Jesse and I will be here. We'll be doing some unboxings and um, just having a talk through. So come back 8.30 Pacific time in the morning tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. See you all on the flip side. Take it easy. Take care, y'all. Man, uh, we will come here, and I don't know. I don't think I could not do a six-plus-hour game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could, Jesse. You fair. You would. You would do it. I know you would. It's not for everyone, of course. Kabuki Kid says. And we'll hit. It wouldn't have been so long if you would have been lollygagging around the board. What? <laughs> I just did one shot. That was one turn. Everyone.